subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. I did sub. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Where's my streamer? Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Subscribe to me, please. Please, 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 please. I also did sub. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, please, please. Ah. Uh. Scary stream. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Happy. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Wow, 30 months, that's so many. Ah. Uh, boo. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Uh oh, scary. Ah, 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 ah. Subscribe to me, please. Please, 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 please. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Hey. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Twenty six. was going to do some senior campus trick or treating with friends but they bailed and I started <laughs> feeling sick. Glad to have something to finish this Halloween off with. Subscribe to me. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Boo. Spooky. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Coming up on two years now, Wayne. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Beware, you're in for a scare. Subscribe to me, please. Please, 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 please. I'm going to piss my pants, scary. Happy Halloween. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, please, please. please. <laughs> uh, I'm so scared, I'm so freaked. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Don't be scary, please be scarums. Welcome to Tales from the Crypt. Viewer, beware! You're in for a laugh. You're gonna have a laugh or two tonight, and maybe a scare. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Way Radio TV Halloween Edition. It's Tales from the Crypt. We're playing novel AI. If you don't know what that is, it's an AI storyteller, much like AI Dungeon, but different and in a lot of ways better. Uh, the We are going to be telling scary stories. We're going to be telling spooky ghosts tales. 
But we're gonna be telling tales of monsters you can't even dream of. You literally can't even dream of them. Only the computer knows. Horrors unimagined. The best year of the day. They'll befall you tonight. Um, we... Anyways, welcome. Happy Halloween, everybody. Um, this is a Halloween stream, and uh, it has... The past couple years have been tradition What's for Wayne Radio for TV person? Halloween streams uh, to be a little bit crazy. You know, in 2019, we had uh, we had Wankenstein's Lab. We had that going on. That's that's going to be more like what we're doing today. A little bit laid back. But 2020, we had the footwork, the Halloween footwork. 2021, we had the Joshua Seance. This year, it's more laid back. Like I said on the last stream, um, our plans for our big Halloween thing wow. kind of had to get sidetracked um, for the Spamton stuff that we did back in September. Um, so don't expect the craziest thing tonight, but we're going to have a great time. Uh, Novel AI has been updated a bunch it's since the last time we played scared. it. There's a bunch of features that were not there that there are now. Uh, like text-to-speech, which was... That was a year ago? Yeah, it's Halloween again. That was Halloween. Um, there's a text-to-speech feature we've been messing with, which is incredible. Uh, it, it is, like, a very smart AI text-to-speech that can, like, understand, like, when there's, like, caps, when people are screaming. It has a little bit of, like, an audiobook cadence. It's really cool. Um, the... Be prepared for a scare. That's all I'm gonna say. Gigalovania, thank you. Prismatic Jelly, thank you. iChintendo, thank you. Kobold Gay. And we are gonna be doing Seven media shares, but I will only allow Halloween scared. scary media shares. If your song isn't scary, it's gonna get skipped. So, choose wisely your tunes. I need scary songs. Hey. Radioactive Tempest, thank you. Would you and the crew... Huge Candy Squid, thank you. What about chills? Uh, we don't- I don't think we have the means to have Novel AI hooked into, uh, Uber Duck right now. That was for AI Dungeon. Uh, and this stream is in part brought to you by Novel AI. We're gonna be giving away keys for, uh, a one-month subscription to Novel AI's Opus program. Uh, we have 19 keys to give away today, so when I say it, trick or treat, you say it too. We're not doing it yet, we're not doing it yet, but we will throughout the night, so make sure to stay tuned. Froggy Gaming, thank you. Um, the In order to do that, make sure you don't make your account yet. You are going to have to make your account along with the code. So if you already have an account you just and you end up winning the month, you'll have to make a new one. I don't, I don't know, that's just how it works. Um, so thank you to Novel AI for those codes. Let's go ahead and introduce the gang who's going to be with us today. Gang! <laughs> Halloween hey, gang! Hey, scary up? gang! <laughs> how's it hey. going? Uh, hey, everybody. everybody. Don't look at, don't look at it. Uh, well, I'll go ahead and read to chat what you guys were typing so everyone can know. Oh, I'm fucking Bowser. Take a gander at my... 30 inch... <laughs> Hey. Who typed that? Hey. I can see who's in control right now. It looks like it was Scorpy. Yeah. <laughs> Please subscribe to me. My cock is not a schlong. It's a weapon. I'm fucking old. <laughs> thank you, Novel AI, for providing codes to this game. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you will. There may Love be some watching content. This is an 18 plus stream. Toast Orb, thank you. Halloweenus. Um, so, uh. tonight we are joined by many friends. We are joined by Trog, create <laughs> keeper of the crypt. Uh, we are joined by Gur, Master hey, Gur. How's it going? What's your Halloween title? Uh, Monster Gur. Monster Gur, the Mad Monster Gur. We have Log. What's your Halloween so title? Will you be resuming Dead Rising the Fear Facer. The, record? the Fear Sorry. Facer, keeper of keys. You're the key master. Log will be the one dishing out most of the most of the giveaway keys tonight. Um, yeah. Thank you, shit. Limerence and Arsenic Kneecaps. We got Mira, who I don't think has a microphone, but will just be here. Oh. Um, Scorpy, what's your Halloween title? Months of Hello. 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 Tune in anymore, but I hope they I am the. Happy Halloween. The. Dra I'm Boya. Dracula. Boya Dracula. Boya Dracula. Boya Dracula. Scorpy, welcome. Trevor is here. Is Trevor on mic or is Trevor just playing? No, I think he just wanted to hear the funny voice. Oh yeah, Trevor's <laughs> welcome to hang out. Uh, and we have Trog, really who I already introduced. So that's the oh. game for now. Uh, more people might pop in and out. We don't know. Who may Maybe you'll see Balp. And I'm sure Balp has the scariest Halloween title imaginable. 
My my own Halloween title though. And ghoulies meant to well. scare little kids in consuming too much well. sugar. I will not well. be silenced. Subscribe well, please, I am. Hold on. The Drow Ranger. I'm scared. Hold on. Door dash dam. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Hey, you better get all that shit off the screen. It's about to transition. It's about, it's about to appear on screen. Okay, uh, fine. Delete it. Delete it. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone forever. Oh, bring it back. Hey, hey. Nothing. We did that. Just the empty screen. <laughs> oh. Who did that? Tony did that. Oh, scared. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my god, I don't Thank know. Thank you, Novel AI, for your keys on your great little <laughs> website. We're just there testing are many the Halloween monsters. Filter. Hey, you're getting money either way, whatever. There are some monsters there are many, in the scary room. There are many Halloween monsters, but only one can control them all. I am. I, I am the. <laughs> I am the dark. Keeper of the Dark Circus, the ringleader. I am here with the scariest costume imaginable. I am the keeper of. I am the. I am the orchestrator. Tonight I will be bringing you tales darker than any imaginable. I'm gonna freak you out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna what is that thing sticking off to the side of your head? That is the scariest. That is the scariest yeah, costume that? that you could get from. Uh, what is that? It's like coming off. No, the other side. Yeah, the it's the long. Straw. That's for drinking um, polar. Oh, I'm gonna put it in <laughs> that's for drinking blood. <laughs> so I, this we are also sponsored by Spirit Halloween, creators of fine costumes. Don't say um, that. I went to Spirit <laughs> Halloween today. You're not supposed to go to the Halloween store on Halloween. They don't have a whole lot of stuff uh, left over. So I, this isn't even my only costume. This this costume is not even complete. Uh, th these these costumes are. We're gonna be cycling costumes throughout the stream. I got all kinds, but you'll have to stay tuned if you want to see them. They're gonna be scarier and scarier the more the longer the stream goes. That wasn't even the freakiest one. gonna get spooky and scared and a little frightened. That was the least scary costume. Now, the first thing we have to do, I see. Jesus, what is that sound? Thanks, Chi guy. The ghastly wind. All right. I finally had time to. You know what we gotta do, chat. You know what we gotta do. We are gonna be drinking polars. Uh, all night long, baby. This stream brought to you by Polar, who won't sponsor me, and I'm still... Look at me. Pathetic. Have you tested this hat before nope. now? This is gonna be... I, well, the first problem is I can barely fit the cans in the can, in the scary. holder. <laughs> that seems like a bad <laughs> idea. Is this meant to be functional? It might uh, not. So maybe. It might be meant to be functional with beer bottles. Then why does it... Yeah. You no, know, you don't put bottles in these. You put cans you in could. them. You could. You could. Wait, maybe it is for bottles. You're gonna if you try to drink through that, you're just gonna get a bunch of lead paint chills. in your mouth. No, this is Careful. spirit spirit Halloween quality standards are up to par, always. I am definitely not more than prepared pass. for Wayne to spill two cans of polar all over his computer and the right. stream just shuts off. Can one done. Can two Five done. Left. Now we must insert the straws so we may drink. Get, gotta get deep in there. Deep in there. Okay, a little bit of spillage. Oh shit. <laughs> what? Putting the straw in caused an error. Oh shit! <laughs> well, how do I. What? Ghosts and demons in your house. What did you. So, what happened? One of the straws is like stuck under the other can that I already opened. I didn't realize it was wedged <laughs> under there. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, all right, jam that One straw in there. And what a day for it! Are they gonna be ghouls and ghosts all right. and spirits and shades and skeletons ah, and, 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 and monsters? I was and gonna ah, say you might want to be ghouls. ready for that shit. It's not supposed to spill. Start drinking right now. Take it. Take Hold a on. take a pre sip. Halloween, Jack O' Lantern, Wayne Go Chimp. Yeah. How do, do I have to squeeze? Oh wait, no, there's some shitty thing pinching it. What is that shit? 
Oh, I'm in a predicament now, folks. I'm scared. I have to get this I... shitty thing off of it. All right, first, what? first, uh, first, one, first bit of the Halloween stream saw. Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> this is your test. Make your choice, Wayne. Get scared. Are you gonna sip it? All right, all right. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Now I have to figure out how to get rid of this fucking oh, thing. Scary stream. That's blocking my suction. I'm trying to do it carefully. Don't move it's your very neck. slowly coming off of the straw. Soon we will drink. It's a valve, so it doesn't oh, siphon all at once. Well, how the fuck do I drink from it? Can you open it? Can you squeeze it? I got a little bit. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh how do I? Oh no, triple A R M S P Suki. Just squeeze the valve. No, you don't squeeze the valve because it's pinching it. I live. And it might be day in the spooky. Oh, I fixed it. Oh, shit. Please subscribe to me. Uh, have a nearly okay, so now, I, now that I've broken the valve, I don't know how to stop it from coming out. What? So I have to bite the straw. Alright, this is great. You're this gonna make a that... fucking mess. <laughs> Not only I. By my well, I was to. Subbing. Um. <laughs> Halloween ghosts and ghoulies. Well. Uh. It text to speech. So I to talk. Let's get media shares going. One year. Media year shares. Busy. Media shares do cost five dollars. Uh, five dollars or more gets you a song of your choice. Remember, it's Halloween themed only tonight. They're not open. Please keep your songs scary and copyright free. Big, big, ah. big weed. I'm gonna get that set up for you. The most comfortable man in the world. Yeah. Oh, a great Halloween. Is it any comfortable? Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Salt your stick, oh. mister. Man, I'm drinking. I don't know if you can see it, but... Is it good? Do you yeah, like it? Yeah, great. I love Buller. This is the optimal way to drink this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy hello, Wayne. I feel like... Uh, polar yeah, I feel Seltzer like I is not alcoholic. Like, no. This is this is a conundrum I'm in, because now I feel like I, ha I have to drink these or else I'm stuck like this. Um, I can't really take it off. Media shares Why can't are not you take it off? Because then it'll spill. No spillage so far. I think I've drank enough of it that it, uh, it's not spilling. Alright. Media shares are now open. Halloween it's media shares only, please. They will be open temporarily and then they will close. $5 or more for your Halloween media share. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Mm. Please, please, please. <laughs> Too Todd much. Halloween is Halloween. <laughs> Hold on. We're gonna get volume and stuff managed in a second. <laughs> Is it loud, chat? God, that's Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> okay, I fixed it. I don't want to do this anymore. This stupid hat. Why do you t take the hat off? I can't. Or else it's gonna go everywhere. What? Well, I don't Hold know. On. Take it to your sink. Hold take on. the tubes yeah, out of the cans. It. Oh, it's gonna spill if I take it off. I can tell. I just Alrighty. <laughs> Oh my god. You got to just chug. Yeah, you use the valve, isn't that what that's for? I think he broke god, that's it. Halloween Potter Nights fit. What a fucking We'll be Halloween. right back. Hold on. <laughs> we haven't even started. <laughs> Dre's been going for 20 minutes. Boost. Had to, had to uh, get started with a little torture Welcome game. Halo does, uh, does he even have the text to speed on? Yet. On the stream? I don't, think, I don't so, think so. No. Okay. Happy Halloween. <laughs> I wish people could hear it right now. It's a bit of a shame. 15 months. 
very scary. Chat can't hear it, but he's screaming. Thanks for all the laughs and smiles. RTVS fam smile. Thirteen months of radio. Uh, Let's go. Tell me a, tell me a story. Well, g great. <laughs> okay, thanks, Frankenstein. How do you take this off, or I'm gonna suffocate? I was about to say that does not look safe. It looks so real. Ah! 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 He was he born in his own skin, the monster cannot change himself. He must learn to accept his life as the Frankenstein monster. I don't know, it really sounds like you can't breathe in there. I can breathe if I am holding my neck open. This seems like a really bad costume. Is the story funny? Spooky tune for spooky you. No. Not yet. I can't get they, this They can't even hear the text. They haven't even started the story. There is no story. This may be a hat for a child. Tell a Frankenstein story! What the fuck does that mean? Well, I'll type it. Hey, you, you type a Frankenstein story then. Novel, I'm more like novel and art. Let's unmute. We're gonna mute the stream mods for a sec. Frankenstein. There we go. S monster, but not like the one you're thinking of. This wasn't some hideous creature that had been created from dead body parts and brought to life by dark forces. This was a real human being who lived his whole life in complete isolation on an island where he never saw another living. Another living. Uh, do you, you, so you have the TCS on now, right? We don't have to read it out loud? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So until the day he died. His name was Victor Frankenstein, and he came into existence as the result of a series of scientific experiments performed by Dr. Frankenstein. The doctor had wanted to create a man without any flaws or imperfections, so he used bits and pieces taken from various. Okay. I have created a functional version of this Frankenstein mask, so... Internet the Dark Orchestrator has now taken on his Franken form, him, and our first story will be told of Frankenstein. One of the test subjects escaped its tank and killed everyone else in sight <laughs> before running away. The last thing anyone ever saw of the test subject was a pair of glowing red eyes staring out from behind a tree. That's pretty freaky. So chat, I want, I want to talk a little bit about how we're doing this. Like the last time we played Novel AI, we are connected via a cooperative browser. Uh, so I am actually not controlling it at the moment, but I might. Um, the I don't know who's controlling it right now. Unlike AI Dungeon, it's very hard for me to tell in the moment. You can't hear me. I mean, I can hear you. They say they can't hear me very. Why is my voice high pitched? I'm not. I shouldn't be going through a voice changer. No, the mask they, makes they're... you sound like a nerd. Well, I mean, Frankenstein was a very ast studious man. You're very muffled. Why do you think I'm oh, muffled? Fuck! A fucking monster! <laughs> Holy shit! Run! Run! Shouted the Thames folk. <laughs> they didn't have much choice, though. They were already dead. So <laughs> their blood still pumping through their veins. They ran as fast as they could down the road toward the nearest village, which happened to be called Frankenstein. There's a town. I can talk like this. Can't really see, but I don't need to see. Uh. When you squish the face, it I'm um, it looks like Frankenstein was a peaceful village. Senator Armstrong. But everybody there was hideously ugly. Luckily, this meant that Frankenstein fit right in. He quickly found a job at a bakery. I had a genius paid idea. Well, but the work was incredibly hard because he had to carry okay. sacks of flour around everywhere he went. However, nobody seemed to mind since no one wanted to look at his face anyway.
Secretly, he always wanted to be a dancer, or maybe a musician. One day, while carrying some flour up a long flight of stairs, Frankenstein tripped over a rock and fell straight onto his head. His neck snapped, killing him instantly. My Franken <laughs> Funniest oh. fucking shit I've ever read. Now I can wear Fine. the mask perfectly, comfortably. <laughs> I love sound. it whenever these stupid fucking AIs. Sorry, novel AI. These amazing AIs just kill the character off immediately. <laughs> <laughs> they know what it's capable of. They know. They know its quirks. Oh, thank you, novel AI, for your participation in tonight's stream. Thanks, Steam Machine, <laughs> for the gift subs. God, this thing is like stuck on my head. <laughs> That's oh, not good. Well, I mean, after the stream, I can cut it off. It'll be fine. Yeah, Inside true. him, you could find piles of cans of polar seltzer. Did it have something to do with the death? Indeed, it did. He tripped on a can of polar seltzer, not a rock. <laughs> Holy shit! A fucking monster! Villagers <laughs> buried him in a shallow grave next to the bakery, where he now worked every single day. They also what? built a small stone wall around the place so that nobody would accidentally stumble across it again. Alright, let's check the media share key really quick. <laughs> it took uh, several it hundred years, long. but eventually, there's still a few slots Frankenstein left. Frankenstein would rise again. Before we close, what is this? Said Victor hold as on, he hold stared. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? I no, I don't want to tell a new story. I want to tell a. I want to tell the same story. Frankenstein woke up with a start. It was pitch black inside his coffin, and he felt cold metal against his skin. He tried moving his arms and legs. But nothing happened. He couldn't feel anything either. Thanks, Sakuna. <laughs> so, chat, is this a good mask? Do I look scary? I can't see anything. He heard a <laughs> muffled voice from outside of his grave. Holy fuck, is that fucking Frankenstein's grave? <laughs> fuck! Screamed a man wearing a white lab coat. I'm gonna fucking kill you, you motherfucker. <laughs> Who are you? Asked Frankenstein. I'm your doctor, replied the man. <laughs> oh, my doctor's always saying that shit to me. But I don't have time to explain right now. What happened to me? You got hit by lightning. That's what happened to you, said the doctor. Now get out of my way. <laughs> Am I green and scary? Said Frankenstein. <laughs> yes, yes you are, replied the doctor impatiently. Now move your ass before I put you back in the ground. Can I ask you a question first? Asked Frankenstein. I'm not green. I'm gray. Oh god, I'm getting no, chroma keyed, I think. the doctor. Hold on. Why am I naked? Because you're dead. Explain the doctor. Now move no, your fat fucking like ass before I bury you again. Frankenstein moved his ass. <laughs> This shit is- I gotta try and get this off, like, seriously. Keep the story going. Like, I can't focus while this, this shit is on me. This reminded me of his ultimate goal in life. Oh, to be a I can't dancer, see anything. Or All maybe right, a musician. The doctor then opened up a okay. box full of wires and tubes and began attaching them to Frankenstein's body. After several hours of this, he finally finished connecting everything together. The machine came alive with a loud beep, and Frankenstein's chest started to glow bright green. <laughs> Holy shit! It worked! It worked! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Alright, you see this? No more of that. Ugh. <laughs> right. The doctor did a happy oh, face mask will appear during the next story. He turned to Frankenstein and yelled. Get in the machine, you fucking monster! I'm not sure if I should, said Frankenstein. 
Get in the fucking machine, you fucking monster! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've been out of it while I was in the Frankenstein mask. Can you catch me up on what's happened in the Frankenstein story? No. Yeah, Frankenstein was a Frankenstein, and then he went to a village full of other ugly people, and then he tripped on a bag of flour and died. <laughs> but then a hundred <laughs> years later, he came back to life. And oh, now... he reborn? Yeah, he reborn. I forget. Okay. How do you take control? Uh, you click the bottom left button that says oh, take log, the vote. Log needs a. Oh, I need terms. to make you a mod? Okay, hold on. I just gave him control. What? Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. No, like momentarily? Well, no, we can't make mod him terms, but we can give him yeah. control. Yeah. Alright, hold on one second. It's taking a while to process what I just put in. Yeah, it's thinking about this one. It might just time out. Oh. I wanted the fucking Franken unit. Well, you shouldn't have typed it. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Man, something about trying to look through the holes, trying to look through the eye holes of that fucked up Frankenstein mask has, like, permanently damaged my eyes. I, like, can't... Everything's blurry. Frankenstein got into the Franken unit 01. Once the machine was done scanning his brain, it let out another loud beep. Lack the of doctor oxygen, looked yeah. at the screen and read the results aloud. You are now officially dead. You have been successfully resurrected. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Getting some mixed signals here. Look we'll at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. supposed to be a Halloween story. It's far enough away. It's not 20 feet. Hey, hold on. Hold on. You're going to cross holidays? You're going to mix holidays? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's the year of October. <laughs> Frankenstein looked at the calendar across the room. December 25. He thought, yippee. It's Christmas. <laughs> the doctor removed the wires and tubes from Frankenstein's body and then pulled him out of the machine. He then took off shirt. his lab coat, revealing a very handsome man underneath. I'm Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> he told Frankenstein. Our media shares are now closed. Don't donate for them. They won't go through anymore. I know, said Frankenstein. That's why I have to kill you. No, no, said the doctor. I mean, my name is Victor Frankenstein. Oh, yeah, said Frankenstein. Oh, yeah. I remember now. It's a pleasure to meet you. <gasps> Thanks, kids neighbors. I'm doing an AI story of Beetlejuice. Oh, I have gonna, some ideas of stuff we're gonna do after the Frankenstein story. It's not gonna story. read the other one if you do that. What? Here, you have to, uh... Frankenstein then <laughs> picked Victor up and snapped his spine like a toothpick. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Frankenstein did a little jig. I'm alive again. I'm finally alive again. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, God. And I promise I'll never sin again. Oh, fuck, I'm alive again. I've got to go tell everyone. Victor slumped to the floor, spine broken, <laughs> spirit sated. Frankenstein ran out of the room and downstairs, screaming, I'm alive again. I'm alive again. I'm alive again. Holy shit. Said the villagers, it's Frankenstein's day. They all jumped for joy and started singing songs about how they were going to party forever and ever 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 and ever. It just did all that by itself. And ever 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 and ever.
and ever 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 hold on that's not why is it no it's not the story's not over yeah does it think r.i.p means that's the end of the story Endless here, partying me... for Frankenstein's special. Here, let, here, let me make an right, adjustment. Victor. Okay. I just want to point. say thank you so much for doing this, said the woman in the wheelchair. Oh, that's also like a send off really line. It. You're welcome, said the man next to me. Oh, yeah. I thought that wouldn't right, change it's... anything. Hold on, I got this, I got this. In the beginning, there was nothing but darkness. Then darkness. suddenly, something appeared in front of us. It was round and had lots of arms sticking out of it. What the hell is that? I love this Texas speech so much. Excitement. Dancing around Frankenstein as if he was some sort of god. He tried to tell them that he wasn't a god, but nobody listened. They just kept on jumping around. After the party died down a bit, Frankenstein realized something. There was only one person left who hadn't shown up yet. He went outside to look for her, and found her sitting alone by the well. She had long <laughs> black hair and wore a white dress. <laughs> <laughs> she had two left arms and was exactly 15 inches tall. Her name was Elizabeth. <laughs> hey there, said Frankenstein. I'm Frankenstein. <laughs> I know, said Elizabeth. <laughs> You're very beautiful, said Frankenstein. <laughs> I'm the bride of Frankenstein, said Elizabeth. Bride of Frankenstein. I will be your wife. That sounds great, said Frankenstein. <laughs> but we need to talk first. Okay. <laughs> That's such a funny way to respond to a marriage proposal. I don't want to hurt you. That sounds great. Said Frankenstein. <laughs> it's okay. I'm impervious to all damages, said Elizabeth. I meant emotionally, explained Frankenstein. I know what you meant, replied Elizabeth. <laughs> I think I may have made a mistake, said Frankenstein. <laughs> It's okay, said Elizabeth. <laughs> Frankenstein began to perform actions and not speech. He jumped in the air, kicked a rock, punched a tree, and then fell back down onto his ass. I can't do it, he said. I've been trying to make a woman fall in love with me for so long, but I just can't do it. I understand, said Elizabeth. I guess I'll just have to give up, said Frankenstein. Maybe I should just kill myself instead. What? No, Stop don't reading. kill yourself. Stop reading this. Said Elizabeth. You're we still young. We don't want young. Frankenstein. We don't want him to. I feel to... like I'm already dead You have to press the stop button in the upright, but don't press it now. I don't even know who of, I am um, anymore. What you have. Well, I'm going to reroll anyways. Okay. <laughs> I cannot fail. I cannot fail. <laughs> you won't fail, said Elizabeth. I'll always love you. Really? Asked Frankenstein. Really? Yes. Said Elizabeth. Now get over here and kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> Frankenstein rejected a hot bride of Frankenstein kiss because he felt like performing more actions, such as punching a tree, kicking a rock, falling down, and then getting back up again. I think we should take things slow, said Frankenstein. Okay, agreed Elizabeth. <laughs> Frankenstein kissed Elizabeth on the forehead, and she smiled at him. <laughs> we, Chad, don't forget Elizabeth is 15 inches tall. Thank you, Aaron 1002. Frankenstein accidentally dropped Elizabeth behind a couch and lost her forever. New hole! Wee! Fuck! <laughs> Screen Frankenstein! <laughs> He continued to scream for several minutes before finally passing out from exhaustion. <laughs> he woke up the next morning with a splitting headache. His head was throbbing so badly that he couldn't even stand up straight. <laughs> hey, chat. What do you say when you want candy on Halloween? Give me candy. No, wrong. Please give me candy. Oh, trick or treaters! Wow, let's give him some candy. Uh, well, <laughs> there you go. 
Enjoy. Did you like it? Yummy. Well, you'd have some more later if you ask nicely. If you trick or treat when my door is open. Hey, Elizabeth, do you like candy? Please come out from behind the couch. Please, oh please. Suddenly, Elizabeth appeared even smaller. She was only half an inch tall now. Very hard to see, but she was there nonetheless. I'm sorry for kissing you, said Frankenstein. I forgive you, replied Elizabeth. Thank you, said Frankenstein. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, said Elizabeth. <laughs> oh no, this time she fell into the couch cushions. No! Oh! What am I going to do? I can't live without you, Elizabeth! Elizabeth didn't say anything. She just gave him a sad little smile. I'm sorry, said Frankenstein. You're gone forever. I'm gonna vacuum the couch cushions right now so I don't lose you again. He started to clean the couch, but he kept finding Elizabeth under the sofa. He tried to ignore her, but eventually he had to confront her. <laughs> Why did he her. ignore her? He grabbed her by the hand and pulled her out of the couch. I'm sorry, he said. I promise I won't let you go again. I believe you, replied Elizabeth. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Why are you still trigger treating? Fuck. <sighs> Fine. Here. Here's some phi, phi being. Frankenstein slammed Dr. In Elizabeth into the trash can. Three points. He screamed as he backflipped into his pickup truck and drove away, never to be seen again. Until... Frankenstein woke up one day and realized that he was still alive after all these years. Is there another the party? villagers were celebrating another anniversary <laughs> party for him. They sang songs about how happy they were that Frankenstein was alive once again. <laughs> Surprise! Elizabeth <laughs> fucking returns! And now she's three stories tall! Holy <laughs> shit! This is the tallest a bride of Frankenstein has ever been on Earth! Whoa! The villagers Wah! danced around Elizabeth as if she was some sort of goddess. Elizabeth was wearing a white dress, a black cape, and two left arms. <laughs> her hair was long and black, and her eyes were blue. <laughs> <laughs> what? I hate when it does this oh. shit. She exploded into a fine red mist. Retry. Hey. Loved her so much that they decided to name their village after. Oh, I didn't read it. Elizabeth. Yeah, that, it, it won't read John it. Was you, like if it already tried to read it. Pretty girl uh. in the middle of the street. Uh Thanks, oh, Austin. How did I get there? Should we censor out the asterism thing? Yeah, we might want to do that. Here, if you want to take care of that now, uh, well, actually, Hold type whatever, mind. type whatever, type whatever you're typing, and I'll, uh, I'll go to BRB so we don't have to look at, we don't have to broadcast the list of slurs that we typed to ban. We don't need that on screen. Real Geometry Live. Thank you for the Prime sub. Damn it. Frankenstein got married to Elizabeth <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. All right. The end. Put the put the put the, the thing endless up. party by K J Bishop. What are Why you doing? Are you all confused? Here? Asked the man who looked like you, a giant. We have, like, have a they, list of words that the AI words that cannot generate. You ban slurs so that it doesn't say them. So there's a list of yeah. slurs in the settings that we don't want on screen because we don't want to show that. Hold on, we're going to go to BRB. All right, ban that. Well, do you, you have the asterism there? Yeah, put it put it in the bins. Yeah, list. I'm I'm just I was just making sure that. Why are uh, they there to begin with? Because it can pull any word that's English, including slurs. Yeah. So we ban them. 
You can also per you can also pull stars. Yeah, I can also do stars. Yes, it All can. Right. All right, it's uh, done. we're good now. It's good. Okay. Yeah. How do I get rid of the purple? I gotta get rid of the purple text so that it actually reads it. Elizabeth lived in Los Frankenville for many years until she met a man named Victor. He was a handsome doctor who specialized in reanimating dead bodies. Elizabeth fell in love with him instantly. Were you calling asterisks asterisms? No, that's what that's called. The the three the three asterisk like triangle is an asterism. Was I just learned that today. Half. He Don't know was why. resurrected through science. He became a scientist himself, specializing in reanimating dead brains. He also had two left arms. I've got an idea, said Victor. Why don't we try combining the brain of Frankenstein with the body of Elizabeth? <laughs> I don't want to fucking do that, said Elizabeth. It's okay, explained Victor. I'll make sure to use a condom. I don't think that will Jesus work, Christ. said Elizabeth. It has to, said Victor. I'm not going to fuck your brain. <laughs> Victor suddenly became possessed by the spirit of Frankenstein Sr. He began to climb a clock tower nearby. <laughs> Scaling the bricks as if he was some kind of spider monkey. Then he threw open the window and climbed inside. I'm Frankenstein Sr. He yelled at Elizabeth. You will marry my son, Vicar. <sighs> no. She shouted at Elizabeth. You will marry my son, Vicar, or I will kill you with my fucking fingers. Okay, said Elizabeth. <laughs> Crank is happy about that. At least she's safe now. Who is Crank? Crank is the AI, like, that's the name of the AI we're using, and sometimes it will talk to you. I don't know why. <laughs> it is kind of like JudgeBot. It is like JudgeBot, yeah. <laughs> the ceremony was a four out of ten at best. Nobody really had a good time. It was attended by two elves, and there was a shoe that had been fashioned into a house. After the wedding, Victor and Elizabeth moved into the shoe together. Victor and Elizabeth had a child named Victor Jr. But then Victor Sr. came back from the grave and killed everybody in the town. He even ate them. <laughs> <laughs> he ate the fucking shoe house. God damn. He was hungry as hell. Then he went back to sleep in his tomb underneath the clock tower where he belonged. A few days later, Victor Jr. woke up and saw his father standing over him. I'm getting confused as to which characters are which at this point. It's impossible to keep track of who's alive and who's dead. <laughs> it They're, is very it, difficult. It barely matters. I think the first Frankenstein, like, left the story about four paragraphs ago. Yeah. Everyone was pretty much dead. Victor Sr. speaking to Victor Jr. How about no more violence? No more anger? Let's sit down and play Scrabble! Let's be happy! Okay! Okay, agreed Victor Jr. I'm Frankenstein Jr. Yelled Victor Sr. I know, said Victor Jr. I'm your father! <laughs> Uh... <laughs> 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 
They have TVs. I guess it is well into the future at this point. Then they looked at the television. <laughs> it me. They couldn't believe what was on the news. I'm Frankenstein Senior. Yelled Victor Senior. Hey. I know. Said Victor Junior. I'm your father. They both screamed. screamed. It sounded so wistful. <laughs> oh my God! What is that? I'll tell you, I got something. Victor Senior. Ah. I don't know. Replied Victor Junior. Let's go find out," said Victor Senior. <laughs> <laughs> they both walked over to the TV and turned it off. Then they ran outside and found the source of the sound. A giant robot made entirely out of human flesh. It was walking Bail. around in circles, eating people left and right. There was blood everywhere, but nobody cared because everyone was dead. <laughs> of course. No one, no one's alive. There's no humans. Who is the TTS? Oh, it's it's just part of novel AI. I don't know. It, 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 this is not like an Uber Duck like hookup that we normally no, use. This is an Uber Duck. This is part of novel AI. Uh, so if you win a novel AI sub, you can play with this all you want. And this isn't even the only TTS voice. We'll try a different one for the next story. Although I don't really know how that works. It like generates one or something. Yeah, this is part of novel AI. Senior Junior. <laughs> Not anymore, kiss me. That isn't an AI voice of you. What? <laughs> of who? No, this this is one of us sounds like AI. that. <laughs> oh, fuck! The fucking flesh robot. This going is gonna kill the fuck out of us unless we do something. Golem, get you gone! Hey, Golem! How about no fucking violence? <laughs> Did you not hear what I told my son, Senior Junior? I am Frankenstein Junior Senior! Listen to me! He's talking like Mojo Jojo. Said yeah. Golem. There's a shoe house outside of town! <laughs> if you can kill the son, you can kill the father! I have a plan! What is it? Asked Golem. <laughs> You go inside the shoe house and kill the son first. Then the father will come out and be dead. <laughs> I will then kill the father and then you can kill the son. That sounds like a good plan, said Golem. I'll go kill the son Why first. is the giant flesh golem so mild-mannered? Like <laughs> That's a good plan. <laughs> 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 the golem got lost. Where do I go? Vid asked. Where do I go? Where do I go? This way, said Frankenstein Jr. Sr. This way. Golem followed Frankenstein Jr. Sr. all the way to the clock tower, where he was met by Frankenstein Sr. <laughs> Here is where you will kill the father and the son. I will kill the father so you can kill the son. I'm the son. I'm the fucking son. The battle began, the two of them fighting for their lives. The fight Boys. was half fought, with no clear winner until... Frankenstein Sr. suddenly became possessed by the spirit of Victor Sr. He climbed out of his grave, grabbed Golem by the hand, and threw him off the clock tower. I'm Frankenstein Sr. You are not the son of Frankenstein. Then he jumped down after him and finished him off. I thought you were my father, said Golem. <laughs> I am your father, shouted Frankenstein Sr. <laughs> but I'm also your grandfather. <laughs> oh, fuck, said Golem. <laughs> I'm Frankenstein Jr. Sr. <laughs> Yelled Frankenstein Sr. I'm your father and your grandfather. I'm your father and your grandfather and your great grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> 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 
Understand, I am your fucking father, son. Okay, go and listen to me. We are family and related. I am all and any. I can be what you want and make you smile. Laugh with me, my family child. Okay, said <laughs> I'm your father. I'm your father. I'm your father. I'm your father. <laughs> The Frankenstein senior was going nuts. He had to be stopped. Golem stood up and pulled out a laptop. Yex is the website dating for dead people. You're dating for dead people? Asked Frankenstein senior. Yes, replied Golem. I've been on a lot of dates with dead people. You should try this. Oh no. Yeah. There we go, that's what I wanted. <laughs> dates. He clicked on the bump button. The page exploded in his face, blowing away his eyes, nose, ears, mouth, teeth, tongue, and brain. His body fell to the ground, lifeless. But then, what is Elizabeth? The smoke emerged Elizabeth, standing over his corpse, holding an axe. Good media shirts so far tonight, folks. Thank you. She was smaller than ever, the size of a proton. You had to look really hard to see her, because of how small she really was. It was very, very small. She walked up to Frankenstein Sr. and stabbed him in the chest. I'm sorry, but I have to kill you, she said. Okay, said Frankenstein Sr. Elizabeth swung the axe again and killed Frankenstein Sr. a second time. <laughs> Damn, imagine getting stabbed by a proton. <laughs> <laughs> she then kicked him in the gut. Wait, could it be? Holy shit! Elizabeth just badass to bump Frankenstein Sr. She's going FRR the end cup finals. <laughs> Elizabeth and Victor Jr. moved back into the shoe house together. They lived happily ever after, just like every other Frankenstein family before them. It was a dark oh, no. and stormy night when a man named John Watson stepped outside of his home. <clears throat> Bomb man! Flash robot! <laughs> Golem! <laughs> Elizabeth. Victor Jr. <laughs> Frankenstein Jr. This, this is like the... This is like you selected them in a fighting oh, game. Man. He's been in full caliber Frankenstein too. Senior was also known as Bob Man because he was always Frank carrying Stein around Junior books. Senior. <laughs> Something on the way the text to speech did that was. <laughs> it was like a fucking fighting game announcer. Bomb yeah. Man. <laughs> oh shit, oh no. Mario. All right, listen. Mario. All right, well, let's Mario. enjoy this. Ganondorf, Bowser, Link, <laughs> Zelda, Samus, Fox, Pikachu, Luigi, Yosh, Alamar, Wifit Trainer, Mar, Charizard, Pichu, Mewtwo, Roy, Mega Man X, Zero, Rob, <laughs> <laughs> Trying very hard. <laughs> Bad Esther, <laughs> the Undertaker. Two are Frankenstein's Victor and Frankenstein Jr. Oh, Four are Bowser's Coopers, hey. and one is Mario's brother Luigi. That makes five. There was no need to mention any more characters, because there weren't any left. <laughs> Thanks, Eel Guts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Holy shit! What? Elizabeth is going to choke slam Frankenstein Jr. Sr. off the twin fucking towers! She's going to kill Frankenstein Sr. and then kill Frankenstein Jr. Sr. This is so awesome! Elizabeth bombed Frankenstein Sr. and then Franken... Stein Jr. Sr. got killed by Elizabeth! Whoa. <laughs> Barking! Fuck this dog. Oh, I was like, what is this? And then I, I love this song. I know this song. Now let's talk about Dracula. He's the main character of the movie Bram Stoker's Dracula. He was played by Gary Oldman, Keanu Reeves, and Francis Ford Coppola. The first Coppola. time I saw this film, it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I was afraid to go to the bathroom because of the scene where Machine attacked Abraham's balls. I was also terrified when Mina was turned into a vampire. I was so scared that I didn't sleep for two days afterwards. Then I watched it again and it wasn't scary at all. I mean, it was still kind of creepy, but not nearly as much as the first time. A balls machine made me cry. One day, I went to the bathroom, and I saw the balls machine sitting on my toilet tank. I took it down off of the toilet tank and flushed it. Then I put it back in place, and I thought nothing would happen. But then, I heard a loud explosion. Oh my god, who is doing that? <laughs> that is not me typing this shit. I immediately it's knew what happened. They fucking got them. The Twin Towers. I cried. <laughs> but then I realized something. The balls machine didn't explode. It never exploded in the movie. It only appeared to blow up. But if you think about it, it couldn't have exploded. <laughs> it jumped out of the toilet and ran at me with its teeth bared. What could I do? <laughs> Nothing. I just sat there, frozen in fear. The balls machine was right behind me. My heart was beating fast. All of a sudden, it stopped beating. The balls machine slowly walked away from me, dragging its lifeless body across the floor. I felt relieved. I finally exhaled. But then I noticed that the balls machine was bleeding profusely from its mouth, which was now missing an eye. Even so, they wanted my balls. They wanted to attack them. And it would stop at nothing to get them. And even though I'm pretty sure they're dead, I can't help but wonder, did it really die? Or did it just pretend to? I don't know how to explain this, but it's like this. <laughs> I recalled the scene where Dracula ran at someone and exploded when he got close. But then I remembered that he was running towards the camera and not away from it. So when I saw him run at me, I assumed he'd be attacking me. And I started to panic. <laughs> the balls machine turned around. Exposing a slit in its back, a piece of paper began to print on it. It was for me. The paper said, I am the balls machine. I looked closer at the balls machine. There was a note attached to it. It read, Dear Mr. Dracula, I am sorry for what I've done. Please forgive me. Thank you for being a part of my life. Love. Mina Harker. I threw up everywhere. I tried to scream, but all that came out was a whimper. Hey, so can I do something with these keys? 
Oh yeah, let's let's give away some keys. Let's give away some keys and then let's start another story. I have a probably need to do a refresh on this. Yeah, it doesn't know what it's doing anymore. All right, if you want some keys, if you want a novel AI subscription so you can play around the way we are, we're gonna give away five right now. And here's how you're gonna win. Say trick or treat. Say trick or treat now. Yeah, we've got trick quite a pile treat. of eligible users. Our our candy jar is quite full. Trick or treat. Remember, oh, and not only one. are you getting novel AI, you're getting candy. A yummy Twix. Eat up. You want more? Oh, this one's not as good, but I'm picking them at random. Here's a YooHoo candy bar. There's a YooHoo candy it's bar? Like, you, yeah, what? I don't know, but... I wouldn't eat that. It looks so thin. It, it looks Wait. so pathetic. Hold on. <laughs> I'm Dracula! I'm fucking <laughs> Dracula! That means I can get candy anytime I want! Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Holy shit! I want fruities! I want chips! I want everything! <laughs> Yummy! Oh, gobble, gobble! <laughs> the rest of the movie was ruined for me after that incident, but at least it taught me one thing. All right, don't go to the bathroom like we've got again. Near 400 entries. Bram Stoker's Dracula is I think a you're, I think you're good to roll the winner. Francis Ford. All Capone. right, let's hit Thanks, the Daniel. roll it. Our first and winner. And we've got pee pants. Pee -pants. It's pee pants. Pee pants. It's pee pants. Yeah, 3GBT, I'm the dark orchestrator of the dark circus. And I'm also, we're going to do a new story. Okay, we'll, we'll wait for Ger to type this. I didn't message you on fucking Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for a winner. It's pee pants. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck yes, sir. Congrats. <laughs> you are the winner of the pee pants contest. <laughs> 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 oh. All okay. right, let's go ahead story. and make a new story. Wait, now, wait, wait, no, have... no, 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 because we'll lose j just a rate. Uh, well, no, you're gonna we lose, lose the uh, we lose the blacklist. Is it... you, oh, yeah, um, okay, story. okay. We don't need to, we don't need just to save copy all that this. story. Just copy that story if you want to keep the text. I don't yeah. care. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, okay, okay, okay. I, yeah, hold on, hold on. Not, I got not, it. Good. So this is this is somebody this... brought up a good point. We should generate a title for that one. Oh yeah, Dracula Geek. <laughs> okay. it's, about, it's not about. It's about Frankenstein. Dracula's it's barely even in it. It's possible that all the Frankenstein stuff was so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good title. The Frankenstein stuff was so old ago that it left the context. I like the thousand-year-old man. All right, so we delete all of that. Um, so I have an idea for our next story. One second. It's time. It's time. A visit to grandma's grandmother's house. To a scary grandmother. Hold on. Oh boy. I love going to grandma's house. Every year we go to grandma's house and it's so fun. But this year we went on Halloween and everything changed. This is the story of my fucked up and evil grandma and how she ruined my life and Everything. I walked into fucked up grandma's house. <laughs> I, I, I want to add on. Oh. With a huge grin what? on my face because Get I was. Get that out of there! Why would, it, why would it specify that? With a big smile on my face, what? ready for some fun. <laughs> she was already waiting for me at the door. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Damn, did I miss something funny? I guess it's back down. Her body felt warm against mine and her boobs were pressing hard against me. <laughs> what the fuck? 
I come back to which was a two-story white house with black shutters and a big porch that had an old swing hanging right, from it. Go. The front door was painted red, and there were pumpkins all over the place. Oh, oh, sweetie. His beard, as long as his time on this earthly plane, he rests his weary six-foot frame upon a glowing mantle. Hey, can we? <laughs> that was when I noticed the thing that would ruin my entire life. Her house was filled with glum booglies. There were tons of them in every room except for the kitchen where her husband was cooking dinner. They looked like they were made out of clay or something. Their eyes were hollow and their mouths drooped down as if they weren't happy at all. What are we? What is this? Home Depot Halloween? I don't know what we're listening to. <laughs> what? So what are you waiting for? The Operator Flash before the animated illuminated wizard summons something much worse than death. Happy Halloween. You're too late. And she. <laughs> Grand. Oh, the read is something wrong? She looked at me with evil and full of her evil in her eyes. She looked sinister. She opened her mouth and said, You're too late. Then she cackled wickedly and laughed until her face turned blue. I started freaking out because I didn't know what she meant by that, but then I remembered that I forgot to put the chocolate bars in my bag before we left. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I love the idea of, like, something horrible happening to you and you just, like, attribute it to something completely mundane. <laughs> In retrospect, I don't think that's what she was talking about. She was probably just fucking with me. But who knows? <laughs> Maybe not. I'm sorry, Grandma, I said, looking around the living room, trying to find the chocolate bars. I'll get you one right now. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. What up, Charon? You get me those chocolate bars, Sonny. Grandma whispered, or I'll kill you with my powers. Okay, okay. I got it. I shouted and ran upstairs to grab some candy. I found a bunch of chocolate bars under her bed. It smelled weird in here, so I thought maybe she had rats or something. The rats stood on top of each other and stared at me with empty black eyes. They were <laughs> disgusting. Oh, I grabbed the chocolate bars and came back downstairs. Here you go, Grandma. <laughs> I placed the chocolate bars on the table in front of her. I hope these make up for forgetting them earlier. They, they will, stacked. she replied, picking up a bar oh, and biting into it. Louder now now tell thing. me your name again. It's Ryan, it's voice. I told her while chewing my own bar. My name wasn't Ryan, but that was the last thing I wanted her to know. So I lied. <laughs> my name is Ryan. Very well, Ryan. Now let's play a game. She smiled wickedly and reached inside her dresser drawer. She pulled out a deck of cards and threw it at me. These cards represent your soul. Each card is a piece of it. If you lose all your pieces, you die. No thanks. I said, grabbing the cards off the floor and shoving them in my pocket. You can't refuse. She screeched at me. You pick those fucking cards up or I will feed you to my booglies. Scream, grandma. <laughs> I picked them up and put them back in the oh, deck. Dude. Okay, okay. Just calm down. Good boy, <laughs> she cooed at me. Now let's play. She dealt the cards out onto the table and I began to shuffle them together. I drew a card. It coughed at me. You have been poisoned. I see you picking another card from the pile. This one stuck green slime on my face. And I wiped it off and took another card. I look down at the card, and it's the card of Dupio Poo! The card of death! <laughs> New! I screamed as I dropped the deck of cards on the ground. I tried to run away, but she grabbed me by the hair and dragged me towards the basement oh, that stairs. Gave me a fucking headache, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It seems you've drawn the card of Dupio Poo! The card of death! Grandma! The cookies! She paused and let me go! <laughs> now you wait right there, Sonny. I'll be 
right back. <laughs> she went down into the basement and slammed the door behind her. That was why I realized that she locked me in the basement. Wait, I huh? didn't want to panic because if she saw me <laughs> panicking, she might do something really bad to me. My vape pen is dead. Dang, there's a whole lot of death on this night of nights. She could make me disappear or something. I sat on the couch and waited for her to come back up. Uh, after about 10 minutes, she finally did. She walked up the stairs with a big smile on her face and holding a plate full of cookies. Hey, can we... So you said <laughs> we, can, we can generate other TTS voices or something? Yeah, we can. Can we try that? Yeah. Well, they were this one? cookies. No, no, here, I have an idea. Dark magic. I gulped loudly and burped and farted loudly. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's wrong with you? She asked me with a confused look on her face. You don't usually act like this. I'm sorry, Grandma, I said, wiping my mouth with my shirt sleeve. I drooled all over my arm. I just <laughs> ate too many cookies. Oh, those are good cookies, she said, putting the plate down on the coffee table. They're made with love. They sure are, I agreed, staring at the cookie plate. Uh, okay, okay. Well, so do, so you I, want, I do you want to make a new voice? Yeah, let's try that. How do we do that? All right, I can do it. Angry Man is the one that we have now. This That's one the I generated. Voice? Yeah, <laughs> this one I generated, but it, it wasn't that funny. So we're, we're just gonna... There's no way to know what it is until... There's the test button. Oh yeah, that's true. I guess we can just test it. This is a test for text-to-speech. Eh. A little harsh, a little slow, but always on point. This is a test for text-to-speech. A little harsh, a little slow, but always on point. Is that different? Uh, that one. You wanna try this one? Is that like the That sounds like the same That's guy. a little too similar, yeah. Okay, well... It's literally random, so... This is a test a for text-to-speech. A little harsh, a little slow, but... Oh. This is a test for text-to-speech. A little harsh, oh, a little slow, but always on point. <laughs> we could try that. That could be funny. What, is, what does that do sound? That one? What, type something angry. Can we type custom tests in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! I'm fucking mad! No! Okay, yeah, let's do that. That's gra it's grandma. Do that one? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. That's grandma. Okay. All I'll right. turn it off if it gets too it's annoying. Just fucking minging. Uh, I think that it should just take it. Did you have to save it or something? No, it automatically saves. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I am Grandma Stewarka, she said, sitting down next to me. And you're Ryan. Yes, ma'am, I said politely. You may call me Grandma. It's she not said a different with a grin. Voice. No. This, is it? I feel like it's not the same as the one in the test. Cause like you hit the generate seed button a second time. You must me call fucking grandma. <laughs> Sorry, I said hold cheapishly. On, hold on. Uh, oh I yeah, we did fuck up. Yeah, it's but I didn't. Right. Rain. She I said. I didn't think that it would. Patting Oop. me on the head. You're such a sweet boy. Uh. Shit. Oops. Uh. This is a test for text to speech. No, see, like, this, you have to, you have this, to change story voice. Oh, it just got moved off of it for some yeah, reason. I guess. Yeah. Hit save I voice. don't know why that happened. Yeah. This is a test for text to speech. Okay. okay. Try that. This is a justice song? We can't be listening to this. Guys, no copyright material. It could be scary, though. Yeah, but no copyright material. Damn, I was just getting into that, man. Come on, chat room. Harsh in the vibe, man. Do I see a chat or my channel? Oh, right. I'm would, charging it. Would my chat like this little candy? Hey, give out another code, dummy. Say trick or treat to get candy. These cookies were actually poisoned. They're meaning. They're fucking meaning. You fuck now, buddy. She screamed. <laughs> I'm not feeling so hot either. I told her rubbing my skin. Candy. You must be hungry. She said, Yummy. standing up. Come eat some more cookies. I think I need to lie down. 
I replied, getting up and walking towards the stairs. This sounds like a cartoon horse. It does. It does just sound like Terra Strong. I was saying that. I wish you just make it yell all the time. And can we make it angry? No! You will not fucking lie down! <laughs> you will eat more cookies! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck <laughs> Hawk! She's <laughs> jumping up and down on the couch! Grandma, I started to say but stopped when I heard the creaking sound coming from upstairs. What was that? She asked, looking around nervously. <laughs> she doesn't even know. Shall I hit the... Yes, so we're going to generate another winner from people who've said trick or treat. All right, five, I four, it's three, two, okay. one. She's still looking nervous. We got Let's the shoddy 924. Yeah, I would really like that. All right. There's a fresh this voice, code. I like the old voice straight better. To your candy yeah. Back. Hold on. Let's try, let's try to make too it. too late. Now that I know how, uh, I want to try and make another one. New voice. Name Super Voice. You don't really have any control over it, right? Yeah, you, you really don't have any. This is a test for text to speech. A little harsh. This is a test for text to speech. Whoa, a wait. little harsh, a little slow, but always on point. I kind of like any, that. I mean, is that's that any different, different from the, the other guy? I, this guy doesn't have yeah. a, like a British accent. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's yeah. try this then. Uh, yeah, click save and then go over there. Yeah, there you go. Dude, turn this up. No. <laughs> I'm turning it up. He meant a Kurt in the story that was so interesting. Grandma turned into an evil monster who wanted to kill me. I'll be right back, she said, running up the stairs. I sat on the couch and watched her run up the stairs while thinking how ironic it is that I'm about to die at the hands of my own grandmother. It sounds a little bit like uh, Dan Green. Ah, there we go, baby. Nice and charged again. Fuck! I can't believe I'm going to die before I get to watch hey, Avatar it is just 2. That guy. The Shape of Water! Fuck me! She screamed, <laughs> running up the stairs and slamming the door shut behind her. It's a little different. What the fuck? I whispered to myself <laughs> as I stared at the door. <laughs> Suddenly, it opened slowly and Grandma came out. It's the same voice when he's yelling, but it's not the same voice normally. Grandma was in rage mode. Her eyes glowed red and she had two Whoa. horns sticking out of her forehead. She looked like Dude. a demonic version of herself. She ran past me and grabbed a butcher knife off the kitchen counter. She then turned around and stabbed me in the chest with it. I screamed as blood poured out of my chest. That was when I realized she had the devil gene. It was what caused her to turn into a devilish creature. I tried to run away, but she caught me by the hair and dragged me downstairs. I'm going to fucking kill you, she shouted <laughs> at me. That's not what his name was. <laughs> Seeing the end was near, I realized. If Grandma has the devil gene, I must have it too. I must have all of my power to become Devil Kyle. I grew long pointy ears, back wings, and a tail. You can't escape from me now, Devil Kyle. She yelled, pulling out another knife and stabbing me in the shoulder. <laughs> I got scared and ran away. Even though I was a devil, I still get scared easy. I found a trap door under a rug and went in. I was in basement one. There were lots of boxes stacked against the wall. I hid inside one of them and waited for her to come find me. After a few minutes, she did. Where are you, Devil Kyle? 
I heard her coming from behind me, so I knocked over a pallet. The boxes fell onto her, and she screamed in pain. I jumped out of my box and ran away before she could catch me again. Where are you? Devil Kyle. She yelled after me. <laughs> oh. I walked into a room okay. with a golden doorway. Okay. I found a pedestal with an item on it. The item was the golden key. It let me go anywhere I want. I opened the door and stepped through it. I appeared in front of a castle made out of gold. A man named Lord Fionix lived there. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Where the fuck am I? Holy shit! Ah, I'm fucking <laughs> terrified! Christ alive! I screamed. All right, this one yells What is better. wrong with you? He asked, standing up from his throne. Are you okay? I, I don't know. I replied, oh. holding my head. I just woke up here. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the binding of Kyle. Lord Phoenix said, pointing at me. Do you know anything about that? I... I don't think so. I said, shaking my head. I've never heard of that before. <gasps> it's my favorite video game series, he said, walking towards me. It's about a boy who wakes up in a world full of monsters and demons. He fights them off to save the world. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> that didn't sound like him. I said, smiling at him. Hey. Oh, yeah. It doesn't read well, it's you actually edit. called Binding of Isaac. Hey, it knows me, what that is. Punching me in it the did face. That on its own. <laughs> oh, I moaned. Rubbing my jaw. I don't think that's how you would describe a hug. You're a little bitch ass. But that's okay. I still love you like I love my own son. Lord Fionix <laughs> gave Kyle a big scrumptious hug. I'm not really sure why you're doing this. I told him while rubbing my sore cheek. But thanks for saving me. It's no problem, he said, giving me another hug. Well, now we will play the binding of Kyle. The Lord pulled a rug from under his throne away and revealed a trap door. Go in there and pretend to be Kyle. Use your tears to cry at enemies and I will chase you and try to kill you. He explained. Okay, sure. I agree, crawling into the hole. What do I do now? Just stay there until I say otherwise. Lord Fionix said, closing the trap door above me. I crawled down the dark tunnel and came out in a room full of skeletons. They were all holding weapons and they were trying to kill me. What the fuck? I yelled, <laughs> running away from them. <laughs> this is oh, yeah, he's still a shit. devil. I miss my weird ass grandma and her glum booglies. I looked around for somewhere to hide but couldn't find any. So I decided to use my powers to make myself invisible. That worked perfectly and I was able to escape the skeletons. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that they were all so invisible so I ran right into them again. Lord f <laughs> No, that's not Lord right. Fion <laughs> Lord Fionix told me to use my tears to kill enemies. I said, so I'm going to cry real hard. <laughs> I began crying as loud as I could. The skeletons turned back into their bones and scattered across the floor. Then I realized that the whole time I was talking, the skeletons weren't attacking me. <laughs> uh. 
That was because they were scared of me. Me. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I started to scream. Ah! <laughs> Suddenly, something grabbed me by the neck and lifted me up into the air. It was Lord Phoenix. He threw me against the wall and pinned me there. <laughs> this one does scream better. It doesn't yell as good, but it screams. I tried better. so hard that Lord Phoenix lost a lot of health points. You're too strong. I yelled at him. You're too strong. You're too strong. I am not supposed to be stronger than you. Lord Phoenix said angrily. I have to get stronger if I want to defeat the Demon King. What does that mean? I oh, asked. I have the perfect mask I'll explain for later, game. he said, putting me down on the ground. I'm devil mode! Ever heard of Demon I got the King devil gene! Go? I asked. <laughs> yes, Bad Lord Phoenix said, looking confused. He is one of my favorite characters <laughs> in the Binding of Isaac. Yeah. I thought so. I said, <laughs> getting up and dusting myself off. Oh. Dracula showed up. Dracula? Lord Fionix said surprised. Pretty good character in yeah. Of I replied, pointing at Dracula with my finger. You see that guy over there? That's Dracula. Wayne spelled Phoenix wrong so many times that it's just like, no, well, it started. No, yeah, no, it, it was started. No, it's Phoenix. Phoenix. With that. It was oh, Phoenix. Phoenix. The no, game exactly. made it Phoenix. Okay. It corrected itself like three times. <laughs> this is the first boss of the Binding of Kyle. Lord Phoenix began to explain the rules of the Binding of Kyle. You can defeat Dracula by finding three keys and using them to unlock his chains. I already found two of them. I told him, showing him the golden key and the green key. Those are just decoys, he said, taking them away from me. The real ones are inside his castle. Inside his castle? I repeated. How am I supposed to get inside his castle? I don't know yet, he said, scratching his Gosh. head. <laughs> I don't know anything, me dumb in head. Me stupid, like cavemen. <laughs> then what fucking use are you? Fuck's sake! I'm a goddamn dragon! Dracula shouted at us. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. I whispered to Lord Phoenix. Dracula has a special power called the darkness. Lord Phoenix explained. It makes everything he touches become black and die instantly. Oh shit. I muttered quietly. I will not let you hurt my son. Lord Phoenix yelled at Dracula, punching him in the face. Devil Kyle, use your tears. Yeah, what a character. Use your tears and kill him with your tears. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lord Phoenix. I apologized, crying like a bitch ass. I'm really sorry. That's Can't okay. Believe it brought he told me, back. hugging me again. It's no problem, Devil Kyle. I used my tears to kill Dracula. His body turned into black sludge and disappeared into thin air. Awesome. Now Halloween is safe. We then went through the door and entered the castle. Piles. There was a bunch of rooms full of chests, but we didn't bother opening any of them. Instead, <laughs> we went upstairs and opened the trap door okay. leading outside. We made it out alive. Lord Fionix said happily. Yeah. I replied, walking towards the exit. But now what? Now we go home, he said, holding my hand as we walked together. <laughs> Time to go back to fucked up grandma's house. <laughs> when we got back, grandma was waiting for us in her room. She had changed clothes since last time. Now she was wearing an old dress that looked like it belonged in the 1800s or something. Welcome home, Devil Kyle. She greeted me with a smile. Did you find all three keys? Yes, I answered. I found the green key, the yellow key, and the red key. <laughs> <laughs> that was when she called forth a wave of glowing boob to overwhelm me. 
You fool. You have I'm glad that my the novel AI is like pretty Grand good at completing while beating me even far away. Yeah. You have destroyed the world. No, I didn't. I moaned, trying to defend myself. I didn't do anything wrong. You have killed my grandson. She yelled, hitting me even harder. <laughs> you have destroyed the world. I didn't mean to. I cried, falling to my knees. You fucking shitson. Grandshitson. Bitch's grandmother. You're right. I did kill your grandson. She admitted, banging her uh -huh. cane on the floor angrily. I should have never given birth to such a worthless piece of shit. You're a terrible mother. I know her. You've been a horrible grandmother ever since you gave birth to me. You were too busy fucking Dracula to take care of me. What Kyle didn't know was Dracula was home like a horse. He probably wouldn't have done anything if he knew about that. I'm going to rip off your arms and legs and stuff them down your throat. She growled at me, raising her cane above her head. I'm really loving the fall of the Dracula's hug. Kyle wouldn't do anything if he knew. It's pointless information. <laughs> Thanks, Destiny. Hey, chat, what do you say when you want a key for novel AI? <laughs> Trick or treat! Who said please? Trick Don't or treat! Do trick or treat, everybody! Say trick or treat if you want a chance to win a novel AI key for one month of Opus. Remember, the way you use it is you have to make a new account and then put it in the gift code thing when you make the new account. We gotta wait. And here's your candy! Oh, this one's big. Pulparindo. Good boy. What the fuck is that? You know, what the hell is that? It's on sale. It's two dollars. <laughs> I got that cheap stuff. The salt and tamarind. That was all they had in the spirit. They, all they had was vintage devil Satan mask and pulparindo. All right, I think we've got enough trick or treaters. Five. Our next winner. Four. Three. Two. One. Ah! We've got the way mutt. All right. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm gonna send the key to you. Hell yeah. Pulverino actually good. I've never heard of it. Until I gave it to you. Dude. <laughs> I'm, Hold I'm on. Putting rotisserie chicken I'm taking that back. Baguette right now. My cat wants it I so bad. I pee so bad. Oh. Everywhere. Oh. Yeah, it was pretty good. No! My pee! <laughs> you can't do that. I need that! My pee <laughs> fell out. I lamented and my pee fell out of my baby. You're the worst grandson in the entire world. Grandma screamed, running over to me and shoving her finger up my ass. You deserve to be eaten Whoa. by demons. I don't want to get eaten by demons. Ah, <laughs> uh, a good callback to a good story. <laughs> Kai, oh, no. you are the demons. Kai was then. Uh -oh. the We're gonna, wait, 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 wait. Okay, good. <laughs> somebody, somebody caught that. Kai, you are the demons. Uh... Kai was then the demons. And they were eating him from inside his body. Ah, oh, I no. screamed, ah. getting devoured by the demonic forces within me. That's not how you play the game, Lord Fionic said, pulling me away from the demons. <laughs> About to become a very different story. <clears throat> One that you cannot experience on Twitch.tv. Suddenly, as Kyle was falling into a deep, dark hole, death he dying, he heard Lord Fionic's voice. <laughs> Kyle, use tears up to increase your fire rate. Tears up to increase my fire rate. What does that mean? Kyle asked Lord Fionix. It means you need to use your tears to make yourself stronger. Lord Fionix explained. Oh yeah, I can do that. Kyle said using his tears to heal himself. I'm already strong enough. You aren't. 
Lord Phionix told him. Are you sure? I asked. I thought we were supposed to be equal in strength. We are, he assured me, but you haven't unlocked any of your powers yet. <laughs> what do I unlock first? <laughs> Grandma hit Kyle with a cane and ended the cutscene. Okay, I'm ready for the next one, I said. This is the second <laughs> boss of the Binding of Kyle. The darkness. Lord Fionix explained, he has the power to steal your powers and abilities. So what happens if he steals mine? <laughs> I asked. You will lose them permanently. Lord Fionix replied, the only way to beat him is to find out the keys and use them to unlock his chains. I realized that there was a lot of padding in this game. No, why are you there was no reason Don't for me press to fight next these two bosses that. unless I wanted to level up. So I decided to try something different. Lord Phoenix, I think we should go back to our room. Whoa! I suggested. I don't know. He said, know. looking oh. nervous. I don't really feel like it right now. It doesn't matter. I told him, wrapping my arms oh, around that's his neck. Good, and Kyle. Me. Anyone who donates for music with vocals, I hate you. <laughs> oh fuck! Dracula! Fuck! Kyle forgot about anything else that was happening. He forgot about it so hard he lost all of his memories of it permanently, forever. This was his punishment for being a bad little bitch. You can't escape, devil Kyle. Dracula laughed, grabbing me by the throat and choking me until I died. And that was the end of the binding of Kyle. A dog! Also very Well that was the end of the binding of Kyle. It was just some guy who got killed because he was too dumb to avoid getting stabbed in the back by a random asshole. Then the credits rolled. Well, that sucked. Lord Fionix said, <laughs> shaking his head. The glumming of Booblies. I don't know why you're still here. Grandma said angrily, kicking me out of her house. I don't have any money left to feed you. I'm sorry, Grandma. Hey, give away another code. Yeah, Log, you, you can just, you don't even have to ask for trick or treat. Just hit the reroll button and we'll pick another winner. All right, it's time for me to do that. Our next winner! It was the glums of time. still trick or treating. It was the boobs still on the road to do more than four, the same. And it didn't three, even feel real. Two, Everything felt fake. One. Like it was someone else playing the game instead of. We got Man Gamer like 03. Man by an Gamer imposter enjoy. version Woo! of myself. Bro, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I don't know, it's a Halloween song. Chat room? This is your last warning. Hey, this this fits the re the request. I asked for Halloween song. All right, that was a good code. It ended with UFO, so it's like kind of scary. All right, all yeah, all K chat. All you have to do is guess the other forty characters in the code, and it could be yours. Summoned her glum booblies with her little boobly songs. Glum booblies. The glum glum booblies. Boobly 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 glum. I boobly glum my glum glum booblies. I tried to dodge what them, the but they were everywhere. Have? They were coming from every direction, and they were fast as hell. Kyle, use your tears to increase your fire rate. <laughs> Lord Fionix reminded me. Tears up to head. increase my fire rate. I you. asked Lord Fionix, <laughs> what does that mean? It means you need to use your tears to make yourself stronger. <laughs> Fuck that shit. The power <laughs> blinding is over. Time for actions. Kyle jumped up and down on the floor while shooting flames at the booglies. He shot a bunch of fireballs fighting, you know. and fell over dead. You did it, Kyle. Lord Fionix cheered, jumping for joy. Kyle was dead. He couldn't do anything anymore. The Kyle of Binding was gone forever. 
You're alive again, Kyle. Grandma <laughs> screamed happily, running towards me. With her cane raised high into the air. Kyle was dead forever. Especially Kyle. No! She cried, beating me with her cane. I won't let you die. Kyle's not dead. Lord <laughs> Theonix assured her. He just needs to use his tears to get stronger. <laughs> this was wrong. Uh -uh. Lord Phoenix was confused. He didn't understand what was going on. He was trying to help me. But he didn't realize he was helping me become stronger than him. That's how the world works. People are always stronger than people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> But Draculas are stronger than people, too. That's why Dracula is better than everyone. No! Grandma screamed, beating me with her cane. I won't let you die. Kyle's not dead. He was... Nope. He wasn't dead. He was definitely still alive. He was probably crying in a corner somewhere. But he was definitely still alive. Oh Kyle's not dead. He was still alive. But he was also very much alive. <laughs> he was actually a lot the closer AI is in denial. Kyle's not dead. He was dead. But he was also <laughs> very much alive. He was actually a lot closer to life than he thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The main character, Kyle, has passed away. The following message played on every TV in the world. The main character has passed away. <laughs> Kyle's not dead. He was dead, but he was also very much alive. He was actually a lot closer to life than he thought. But we had one more important sound we wanted you to hear. <laughs> oh my he pulled out God. his scythe and cut Kyle in half. Kyle was dead. Kyle's not dead. He was dead, <laughs> but he was also very much alive. He was actually a lot closer to life than he thought. <laughs> Thanks in your Bob. Ah, oh, dude. Birthday cake vapes taste so bad. Why'd you get it? Uh, uh, the dude said it was strong. <laughs> was he right? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not going to re read all that. <laughs> I won't let you die. Grandma screamed angrily, kicking me out of her house. All right. You well, can't while escape that's me, devil Kyle. We should maybe oh, make a new story. I'm not the devil. Yeah. I'll get I another key sent out. Now, I imagine all of you have already trick or treated already. So I'm gonna give it a nicotine, short amount of time. Nicotine, moron. Five. It's other stuff. Four. Here's vaping. Three. Two. Fake marijuana. K2 spice. All right, sleepy solstices. I feel like I recognize that. It's name. not K2 spice. It's Delta Eight. Oh yeah, this, this is this is an old, is an old time follow. All right, congratulations, sleepy solstices. I'll be sending you the key. <sighs> Ah, oh, it's a disposable too, so it doesn't have any adjustable heat settings. I feel like it's on real hot. But that what is wasn't Wayne dressed Kyle. as? I'm that the was keeper the of the dark carnival. His corpse because <laughs> Kyle was dead. Forever dead. Very dead, in fact. So dead that the story didn't have any reason to keep going. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's not dead. Lord Ionic said sadly. <laughs> Looking at his friend's body lying lifelessly on the floor. Very no. clearly looking at him being dead. I moan softly, falling to my knees. The end! <laughs> the <laughs> fucking story is over! Kyle's not dead. That was a good Lord laugh. Fionix told me, holding me close to his chest. <laughs> no. I whispered, falling asleep and passing out on the ground. Is this Kaito? On a park by Boo Blees. Two. Stabbed in the back by an asshole. Three. Burned to death by a boogie. Oh uh, no. Crushed a under boogie? a boulder by a boogie. Oh, Five. it's Gakpo. Okay. Shot in the head by a boogie. Six. Strangled to death by a boogie. Seven. <laughs> ripped in half by a boogie. Eight. 
stabbed in the heart by a boogie. Nine. Eaten by a boogie. Ten. <laughs> thrown off a cliff by a boogie. And the number one way Kyle could die in the binding of Kyle's. Eleven. By being killed by the Grim Reaper. <laughs> That's crazy, you know what? Man. That's pretty good comedic timing to have uh... them all end in boogie except the last one. <laughs> I'll give it up. We should do a new story. Yeah. Oh, let's do a few top ten lists first. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. A few more. Top 10 stuff. favorite pumpkin faces to draw on your pumpkin that will say, scare the kids of Halloween. I think I think AI Dungeon's better at top 10 lists, or maybe we just haven't, we don't know how to... There's an AI for is a There is a, um... There's like a model we, look, we can change to... There's like one of these presets that says it's supposed to be good at doing lists. Let me yeah, see if I can right. do it. Do top 10 scariest Halloween weapons. Uh, maybe this, this crate one? I think. Oh. I don't think that was it. I think it Please. literally said good for list. Well, Wait, really? It, it did, yeah, I there think was one. That's... The one we want, oh, definitely. This... Where is the one that says good for list? It might not be under this model, is the thing. Hold on. I, Blue Adder was good. I remember liking Blue Adder. A grinning oh, jack o' lantern good. face. Two. An I think the problem is that your top face. 10 list isn't. Three. Abstract Maybe it does. Yeah, I'm kind of glasses. Sad. Thank you, Four, A happy, smiling pumpkin. Five. An angry, angry pumpkin. Six. <laughs> Top ten forbidden techniques to summon the one? evil devils on Halloween night. I don't know. One. Using your tears to 10. make yourself stronger. Two. Spooking Two. everyone with your amazing flashlight trick. Three. Whoa, beating like people on <laughs> Halloween. Four. Using candy to lure children into your lair and eat them for breakfast. Five. Making friends with the living dead. Six. Summoning the Six. devil himself on Halloween night. He got excited Seven, about that one. Doing tricks with the shitty little oranges. <laughs> Cackling madly while you kill babies. Nine. Using your awesome power to do good things. <laughs> Ten. All of these. And the number one forbidden technique to summon the evil devils on Halloween night is. Eleven. Blowing smoke in their faces so they'll never forget <laughs> you. Hell yeah, bro. Right there uh... with you. Alright, someone do, do another. Um, I gotcha. <clears throat> What is this? What is this sudden focus on starting with ten instead of one? We Top always ten start with reasons one. I get scared of going outside on Halloween night. Maybe this will make it better. Getting jumped by goblins. Nine goblins. <laughs> Eight hobgoblins. Seven poltergeists. Getting louder. Six shadows. <laughs> Five demons. Four ghosts. Three vampires. <laughs> Two. Ghosts of vampires! <laughs> and the number one reason why I get scared of going outside on Halloween night is... One... Vampires are way scarier than goblins. My worst <laughs> dreams about Halloween. One... My friend Tommy shows up to a party dressed as a goblin, then steals all my candy and runs away when I tell him it's not funny. <laughs> Two... <laughs> I'm waiting in line at the bank like an idiot, when out of nowhere a bat comes flying towards me. And I scream really loudly because I am afraid. Then all of the employees at the bank run over and pull me out of there. You're gonna have to wait out here for the next 30 years until you finish paying back your loan. Three. <laughs> These do sound like dreams. I was The Walking Dead when I hear something downstairs. So I go into the living room to see what it is when I find that it's actually an evil demon who is about to kill me. The evil demon whispers something in my ear and then explodes into a mass of fire. 
4. I'm walking down a dark alleyway alone at night, and I trip over a branch. So I look back to see what it was, and out of Gives nowhere this massive red dragon jumps out from behind a dumpster <laughs> and chases me through the dark streets until I eventually kill him. 5. <laughs> Why is this song I accidentally to me, leave chat? my door unlocked one night, so when I walk into my room, I oh, discover that ghosts Scorpions have come in and made the messiest of messes everywhere. But they're so pissed off that they can't find a place to go. So they just hang around, wandering all over the place. Then they catch me sneaking past them and demand I take care of everything for them. And the number one worst dream that I have about Halloween is... 1. Something is standing in front of my bedroom window at night. I open the window to see what it is and out pops a bloody-headed ghost. He grabs me and starts whispering something in my ear, then explodes into flames and sets my house on fire. <laughs> Top Sick. 10 Consequences of the Unraveling 1. We are stuck in this world forever. 2. The sun is blocked from our eyes, meaning that we will never be able to see again. 3. Vampires and werewolves attack our house, destroying it completely. 4. Google and Facebook crashes all over the place, causing mass chaos all this over is like, the web. This is like the Five. backstory of all vampire of survivors. By <laughs> like, we managed to escape our deaths by transforming into turtles and spiders and saving the day. 6. Mutant turtles take over the world, forcing humanity to live as their slaves. 7. Spiders take over the world and force us all to eat bugs and spiders for breakfast. 8. A huge earthquake rips open a festering <laughs> hole in the ground that leads to hell and opens the portal of hell beneath our feet, devouring the planet. Nine. Holy shit. Earthquakes cause tectonic plates to shift and suddenly cut the bottom of the earth in half. <laughs> Ten. Sex don't work no more. We gotta wait for fucking forever until we can fuck again. And the number one consequence of the unraveling is... That's so good. Eleven. A virus takes over and starts eating people's brains out because it thinks that that is hilarious. All right, number twelve. It's time for key. Uh, right. Another key. Words trick or treat. If you want kill. your key, you gotta type trick or treat. But trick I feel like treat. you have already. Time for a candy oh. sweet I'll and give a key. You five. Yummy five, treat coming up. Four. <gasps> it's Rolo. Three. Two. Rolo Tony Brown one. Town. Enjoy. What are you saying? I gave them a Rolo treat. Oh. Roll well, our winner. I'm giving a key to Not Always Carlos. All right, there you go. You're Congratulations. Yeah. Keys will be showing up in your message box short. <laughs> nice. Top 10 alternatives to shout at the top of your lungs instead of trick or treat on Halloween night. One. Fuck. <laughs> two. God damn it! Three! <laughs> oh shit! Four! Oh shit! Five! What the fuck? Six! Fuck! Seven! I love cartoons and candy! Eight! My shoes are wet! Nine! My leg is still hurting from that car accident last week! Ten! I can't see! <laughs> and the number one alternative to shouting at the top of your lungs instead of trick or treat on Halloween night is 11. Forget it, and then stay in bed. <laughs> this music is going crazy right now, dude. <laughs> Top 10 Halloween potty training tips. Why would you do one, this? Hold it because in we did this in AI dungeon. To the I want to see what this does. <laughs> if you have to go. Sit on a pad of paper and aim it away from you. <laughs> Three, don't make too much noise. Otherwise, people will think they are ghosts. Four, darkness is your friend. The darker it is outside, the better you'll be able to hide while using the toilet. Five, cups exist. Use them. Six, if you can't find any cups, just use your hands. Seven, always aim downwards. Eight. Wear as many layers of clothing as possible. Nine. If you happen to Bro. miss the toilet, try covering yourself in corn syrup and washing it off later with a towel. Ten. Evil spirits are attracted to dark places. Try to keep yourself in a well-lit area so that you don't become one of them. And the number one thing kids should keep in mind when they're going out to do their Halloween poo on the potties. One. There's no such thing as monsters. 
just your crazy fucking parent. <laughs> when is poor, when oh my old God. man comes home drunk, That's so I like good. to hit him on the head. Because <laughs> he hits me back and it makes the fight fun. Because when I get mad at him, he screams in my face and bites me on my arm because he thinks it's funny. Oh, dude, turn it up, man. My dad is Dracula. He drinks blood from a coffee mug while watching the news. I think he eats the neighbor's pets and puts them in an yeah. oven. My dad lives in an old Victorian house that my mom cleans Alright, what's something we can do? Chat, night. do you have any top 10 ideas? Make make the AI come up with a top 10. Wait, I have one, one, one idea. Dude, I forgot how hard this game's soundtrack fucked. It's good. <laughs> Top 10 what? evil cards oh. of Grandma's soul deck. One. <laughs> there you go. Top 10 evil cards of Grandma's soul deck. One. The body snatcher. Two. The haunted house. Three. <laughs> The werewolf. Four. The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Five. A bubble wrap ghost. Wizards of the Coast Six, has gone too far. The Chinese water torture board. Seven, that one does not the fit homeless with the ghost. others. <laughs> no. Eight. Yeah, the that's, demon. That's Portal Three Kingdoms. Nine, the Egyptian mummy. <laughs> Ten. The vengeful spirit. That's how it is. And the number one evil card of my grandmother's soul deck is the screaming face. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> nice. Ah! The screaming fee. The screaming fee. The screaming fee. Dude. I think we should, uh... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Top 10 wet areas on the potty seat. I one, don't like this a one. Bowl full of water. And a chip turd floating in it. <laughs> Two. A bowl full of water with a turd floating on top. Three. A bowl filled with sand and a turd buried inside. Four. Cool, bro. A bowl filled with wet toilet paper cool and bit. a turd sitting next to it. Five. A bowl of water with half an ice cube in it. <laughs> Halloween horrors. One. Going out with your friends trick or treating to get candy only to realize that each of you have forgotten your pillowcases and your costumes are soaked from being forced to use it as a dunk tank. So, someone forgets their trick or treat bag but remember their trusty rubber glove, which has been transformed into a sex puppet for some unknown pervert. Free. When you come home, all the lights are off so you must scurry to your bedroom window and get dressed. In pitch blackness, once you have successfully unlocked the window, you foolishly let yourself out only to be completely <laughs> blindfolded by an evil cultist who then tortures you by putting you into a potato sack full of dirty socks and forcing you to search through the Halloween bin to find your candy. <laughs> the Halloween bin? <laughs> Four. Wet, wet, wet. Five. Your best friend can't go out trick-or-treating because they're too busy writing a report on the Industrial Revolution and will likely throw a tantrum if you ask them to help you scare people on their route. Well, there you go. Top 10 <laughs> things you can find in the Halloween bin. 1. Candy corns. <laughs> 2. <laughs> beeps. 3. Jelly beans. 4. Sour Patch Kids. 5. Chocolate. Holy shit! 6. Raisins. 7. Pop Rocks. 8. Nerds. Nine, gummy bears. Ten, <laughs> lifesavers. And the number one thing you can find in the Halloween bin is one, a piece of paper that says the Krampus crew written at the top. Top ten scariest <laughs> members of the Krampus crew. One, the frat boy. Two, the vampire. Three, the <laughs> there we go. Four, the douche back. Five. The redneck. Oh, it's not. Six. It's gonna go through the high all school those football star. Reads them. Seven. The country club bitch. Eight. <laughs> two. Mom and the cute. Twosome. Three. Big Jim Martin. Four. <laughs> Abdullah Sinistrari. Five. Ebony motherfucker. Six. <laughs> Lil dog. Seven. Dun turtle. Eight. 
Freddy Krueger. 9. Torgo. 10. Shaki uh, I don't think we can play music the from one the Torgo from Coraline. Sorry. 1. Tunis Tunis. <laughs> no! This is just Pac-Man. Steel! Oh! Uh... <laughs> A boy, a girl, a baby, all together, and so on, and so on. How is this it's time Halloween for some music? Halloween poetry with Dr. Dunnis Tunis, the world's leading expert in all things scary and creator of the Krampus Crew. We have to remember Everything Dr. You've ever Dennis known Tunis, about monsters creator of the alive. Krampus Crew. Now there are none. Only he remains, and only the Krampus knows. For centuries his Holy magic has shit. hidden in the hearts of men. Now it wakes. The horror born of the night. Is. It comes to save those who have felt so long forsaken. To bring life to the dead. He comes. And this is why he does what he does. He does. He does. Man? He does. As what he does, he does. I don't know. I've heard that he before. He does. Though. Does what he does. That's so good. Gangnam Style. Everyone knows this that song. That is absolutely not what it is. Potato. Potato idea. That's not what it is. In you fact, don't know what that is. I don't know where you pulled that kid, out of your ass from, bro. I always imagine bro, myself busting a move like I at the top of my lungs. Yeah, I don't know. That is not what that is. This is a very specific person. It's like you just go on the internet and fuck it, say whatever you want. <laughs> Top 10 Gangnam Style out eight lines. One, everybody throw your hands up now. Two, every year on Halloween, people play in my nerves with their stupid candy and it pisses me off. Three, the zombie apocalypse is nigh. We need to get prepared. Four, my house just got destroyed by a giant bear and a giant wolf who were fighting over me. Five. You know that guy? Oh, you didn't know that guy? He was my best friend, but then we became mortal enemies. But now he's back, and he wants us to make up. And I'm all, forget it, I don't really care. But now he has a fucking gun to my head, and I'm going like, okay, okay. Six. Candy Wooa. Seven. You could be next. Candy. Eight. Everyone, take your pants off and form a circle. <laughs> Nine. Just one more dance before bed, please. Ten. Gangnam Style! <laughs> and number one I take to Gangnam Styles. Eleven. Pogo Jump! Bonus poem. Be careful what you wish for. Uh. <laughs> a little boy loved candy corn so much that he wished on a shooting star that he would go to the land of chocolate where everyone said that he could eat all he wanted. He spent his whole life wishing to be there, but he just kept dying and getting reincarnated over and over. Again, it wasn't until he turned 32 that the land of chocolate finally let him in by that time. However, he had forgotten why he was there to begin with and was spending all his time eating candy corn alone. <laughs> sad. So sad. This fucking kid is just a disaster. Today I'm going to write something personal about myself for once. To be honest, what I- What the hell? <laughs> sad. <laughs> sad. <laughs> So sad. This fucking kid is just a disaster. A child's mistake makes the world a darker place. There are a lot of reasons for this. I'm sure you've all heard them. As a kid, you get big as all fuck and then you never oh quite reach adult God, because dude. nobody would ever come near you. Oh, that's a fucking incredible fucking line. Oh.
top 10 most true sayings of our dark world. 1. A child's mistake makes the world a darker place. 2. There's nothing scarier than knowing that you <laughs> can be hurt or killed by an 8-year-old. 3. Humans <laughs> are naturally selfish creatures who only care about themselves and their own future. That's why they never look at the bigger picture. 4. Vampires will always be vampires, zombies will always be zombies, and werewolves will always be werewolves. Okay. 5. No matter how good humans think they are killing zombies, you're better off making a list of things that are even harder to kill. The number one on the list should be children. <laughs> 6. When people say never let go, it means don't let go. 7. If you that. see somebody walking through... Nine, krill the creature. If you see a giant squid attacking a ship, it probably has its tentacles wrapped around the anchor to use as a weapon. Damn, <laughs> cool. a new Stop story trying now. to change the world. I need, I need some. In the end, I need everything some structure. changes anyway. I give away a code. Halloween code. My lights flicker. Uh oh. Hey, if the stream goes down, my what? power went out. Bro. Our lights flickered too. That's not good. Oh no! Uh oh, Halloween Check power surge. Uh, a little, a little Halloween, a little Halloween scare in in Dallas tonight. Hold on, I have an idea. Michael Myers what? is in Dallas, Texas. I got out just in time. It's frozen. Can I just refresh? That was what? weird. I mean, it seems Rip like it's my okay. Friends. See ya. Why did my power flicker for a second? Answer. <laughs> Why did my power flicker for a second? Answer. Because I'm an incredibly powerful wizard. That's why. Did this As song he just sample Dracula's theme? This is a uh, Club Penguin song. Wait. That's sick. What else should we ask AI Dungeon? What, Wayne, you're muted in Discord. I don't know if you. I think you're. I you fixed might it. Also be muted on this. There we no, go. No, I'm not. I'm not muted on stream. All right, let's do. Let's do another story then. Um, yeah. But yes, what Dracula's is Dracula's theme? Do you know what that song is called? I don't know what it's called. Takata and Fugue. There's yeah, some shit like that, nerd. What Post should our the next? Nerd emoji now. What should our next story be about? Here's my last mask. I don't know how to thematically get this band. I think kid, our next story should be a, a mummy story. I don't okay. feel like we've done mummies yet. Okay. I don't think we've let's ever do, done mummies. Let's do like investigating the TV's mummies new tomb. shirt will feature the brightest colors of the rainbow. <laughs> really? You know what else is really bright? Crickets crawling all over my goddamn walls. <laughs> really? Why would you put your junk in my house? Oh. Can I just, Make before you strike, I just kind of want to see what the voice will do with this. Okay, we need a title. Why is my beautiful rocket ship floating off into deep space? Why? 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 I just want to see what it does with this. Oh, it's not even going to read it because it's purple. Oops, I did it again. Hey, oh, did Long no. say he was leaving? Or did his power go out? Oh. oh, his power probably went out. Oh, what the dude, fuck I'm happened? so glad I'm not there anymore. Why did our grid? Side of the town is I don't know. Our... My power would be out right now. There's no way Log would just randomly leave, so it must be that his power went out. Log's dead, bro. That's Michael Myers. Oh, they got him. Yeah, the, dude, there's I no way that that's not what time. happened. That was Holy crazy, shit. yeah, like, literally the second that Wayne said that, like, his power flickered, my power flickered, too. What happened? So, like... Log's dead. Uh, is Log going to be okay? No, his power went out, and that means his refrigeration went out, and he's gonna melt. Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> die, dude. And he's made of he's ice. He's dead. His, his power did go out. What the fuck happened? This is not a Halloween bit. Logmore is dead. Oh, he's waiting Sorry. for his internet to come back up. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna give away another key really quick. Yo. 
Yeast entrenched my party and made the dead walk. Hail to the burning floor, brazen heart, and sure death. <laughs> that shit was good. Whoa, what? Hail to the burning floor, brazen heart, and sure death. Hail to the burning floor, brazen heart, Doodle and sure guy. death. Hail to the burning floor, brazen heart, okay, and sure enough. death. Hey. Hail to the burning floor. Doodle guy, you're our next trick or treat winner of a novel AI key. What the hell is happening? Well, we we had a weird upset because our, our key master lost his power. Oh, yeah. I saw a mud crab the other day. Dreadful creature. Good day. <laughs> All right. Uh, keep it on Blue Adder. I think Blue Adder is pretty good. No way. To be honest. The top Gun Beta is what we've been on all night. Well, yeah, but Blue Adder's good too. Blue Adder's the I mean, crazy one. I guess one. we can do it. I just like this one because it's new. Blue Adder's one that I've had a lot of uh, a, lo a lot of consistency with. Okay, so this is a mummy story. Oh yeah, yeah real quick. Be, story uh, of mummies. It should real be uh, like we need uh, a name for this story with Grandma. Good fucking luck. It's confused. Yeah, it's yeah. got a lot to look through. Or more likely, it just. This one just how I suck when Amanda is away. Okay. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right. I think it should be like what? What's the game we played for Warren? It should be like that. Yeah. Everyone knows about mummies, but very few people see one with their own eyes. In their high school? Do they live? Do the dead walk among us <laughs> when we go in their tombs? <laughs> Bro, Mummies Bob. exist in our world, and I'm gonna find them. Fucking stone. My ass. name is Dodo Fripp, and I am the world's first tomb explorer. I'm going to the tomb today. A tomb raider, you might say. Oh, One man. night when I was. Oh, wait, the AI is One night when I was 17 years old, I heard a strange sound from inside the tombs. Not long after, my father, who was a caretaker for the cemetery, had a heart attack while he was cleaning out a burial chamber. This is oh, so I, I want to... Oh. Interesting. Oh, well, my bad. It seemed that something inside the tomb had woken up. My grandfather also saw something. Oh, yeah, hey, oh, he died before hey, he could tell me... anyone we'll else take the thing back. There was I'm a curse trying. put on the tomb, so no one went inside. It was the curse of damp. I knew then that there were still Great. things the living needed to do with their lives. Yeah. It was the curse of damp. <laughs> My father was the only one who ever went inside. And his heart gave out. In the end, he never told anyone anything. And now the only way to lift the curse is for someone to find all nine of the ancient runes drawn around the tomb entrance and destroy them. Hopefully I wouldn't have to find seven pages, too. There are eight walls that must be destroyed in order for the curse to be lifted. Okay, so there's seven pages, nine thought. runes, and I'll eight walls. I'll just check each tomb one by one. I have to keep myself awake somehow, so I've got some sweets and a lighter. <laughs> I start smoking the, the candy generators. as soon as I step into the tombs. At first, I'd light matches, but the smell drove me nuts. And I don't want to make a habit of carrying those around. Then I realized that if I crumpled up the papers from my study, then lit them, they did a sem. Older for ages. Of course, I haven't really tested this, but mm, <laughs> this should work. Let's go, Dodo. <laughs> After said that 26 to years, I still can't see in the dark very well. So I always wear a pair of plastic <laughs> goggles. <laughs> I'm also addicted to cigarettes, <laughs> so that's cool. I prefer the Dunhill, but this American blend doesn't taste too bad. But damn it, smoke is drifting my way. I better step outside for a moment. Oh, how about that? I brought a gas mask along. I use the gas mask. I use the gas mask to chain smoke about ten cigarettes at a time. I'm gonna smoke about forty of these now. Yeah, man, here's another one. Now it's going up to fifty. What? You Bro. still there? I just couldn't think of what to say. 
<laughs> Cheers, bro. Hey. <laughs> anyway, I went into the mummy's tomb to find treasure or something. God, I wish I had more cigarette, cigarette cartons. This is bad. I'll smoke What's so many, bad, it'll be like eating them. Gotta take a breather for a little bit. I think I may have overdone it this time, but let's take a break anyway. Just a few more, I changed my mind. I smoke now. I smoke always. Smoking is a strategy for life. Amen. It looks like it's been about 10 days since I was last seen in town. I've had a bit of trouble breathing. I shouldn't have smoked that Nern root. That stuff packs a punch. So here I am, Dodo Fripp, lying face up on the floor inside the mummy's tomb. I can't believe I died for such an idiot reason. It's probably not going to read this because you edited it. I can't get that out of my head that he sounds like an oblivion NPC. Well, that's terrifying. <laughs> but smoking is so fun, isn't it? By the way, who would have thought a heart attack could kill someone during their sleep? <laughs> now I don't feel like smoking at all anymore. This song is just silent. This is not a Halloween song. Remember when this Skip was a it. mummy story and not a smoking It's a cigarette story. story. Cigarettes are terrifying. Fucking cigarette. There is mummies are still gonna show up. Don't worry. This stream brought to you by Marlboro. Hashtag ad. What about the impressionable children? Children aren't gonna want to smoke after they read this. This dude smoked 40 cigarettes and nearly died in the mummy's tomb. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I have three cigarettes in my mouth right now. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Anyway, I'm walking down this tube. I hope nothing jumps out and scares me. <laughs> it was noon yesterday when I first oh, entered dude. the mummy's tomb. I immediately lit a match to check if there were any matches inside. Hmm, it wasn't too bad for a long-term smoking area. <laughs> Oh, you gotta keep making him laugh. <laughs> hmm. What if I smoked a few more cigarettes? Oh, hot damn, I love smoking. It's like smoking is an activity, you know? You smoke, then you walk around. That's the true essence of smoking. How old do you think I am, anyway? <laughs> you smoke, then you walk around. What does it matter? I really wish there was a kid around for me to blow smoke into their face. Hell yeah, Just bro. the best. Anyway, <laughs> he I brought the nerd root, back. root yesterday, didn't I? To be honest, it had way too many chemicals in it, so I won't buy it again. It's not worth my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Is that a mummy? Wait! No! Just a cigarette, but <laughs> What a relief! <laughs> ah, smoking is good. I love smoking. Why are you staring at me? Are you jealous because I can smoke, you little brat? Holy shit! I'll smoke you! I said, Dodo Fripp. You're just plain twisted. Yeah, you need help. Okay, I if I keep monologue. smoking as hard as I've been smoking these last 10 days, maybe I will die from it. Amen. Marl. <laughs> no, Malboros is Final Fantasy, bro. You gotta go put the I R started in. giving no. out Malboros oh, for Halloween. The kids love it. See you next year. Good night, everyone. I'm 27 years old. So far, <laughs> I. So Wait, uh, I wanted to hear that. Yo, Hello. Happy birthday, what the hell? Huh? I Shots can't even out. move. There's a mummy crawling in front of me. What the <laughs> fuck? Why am I shrieking in a silent room? <laughs> Do you have smokes? Do you have any Newports? Oh One God. night when I... <laughs> it just started over. Do you have smokes? Do you have any Newports? Foolish you. It is impossible for me to eat you. One mummy cannot defeat an entire nation, so to speak. <laughs> While I devour your flesh, shall I remember how I became a mummy?
What? <laughs> and that was the start of the I tale am... of the mummy. <coughs> and that was the start of the tale of the mummy who would defeat <laughs> hold the. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's back it up a little bit. I think see you next year. Like, yeah, let's let's <laughs> put yeah. it on the Use track. Lighter, turn it over and pull the black lever three times. <laughs> aye, aye, chief. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch his nose off, then take one last drag and toss the cigarette on the ground. Dodo looks back down the hole with a smile, picks up the only piece of jewelry in the tomb, puts it on his hand, and waves goodbye to the skeleton. He's Grave Robin what? now? I thought he was like... Part, uh, I thought he was a gravekeeper. <laughs> All that smoking really fucked He's him up, He's fucked up! No one's smoked as many cigarettes and lived, it does this to you. Bye, bye! <laughs> bye, bye, bye! It was another day inside the mummy's tomb. It smelled like death here. It didn't kill me, but it's still kind of a problem. Even after I smoked a few cigarettes, I had a Dude, hard time breathing. Is so good. This guy is like, you know, when you start playing the organ trail and you can choose like what you bring with you. <laughs> this guy spent all of his money on cigarettes. <laughs> I've been in the tomb for a month. I'd been in the tomb for a month. It was time to find the mummy. I stole the mummy's favorite necklace. This shall anger the mummy, but I'm not scared of the mummy or the curse. That's how you defeat a curse, right? If you do something bad, then that makes the curse stronger, which makes it harder to do something bad because the curse gets stronger. If I smoke enough, then nothing good. <laughs> if I smoke enough, then nothing could hurt me ever again. <laughs> I'm going to steal the mummy's treasure and upgrade to cigars. <laughs> I smoked about ten cartons today. That. I gotta hurry if I want to finish my cigars before sunset. If I don't do this, then what'll I do? This is too much. The mummy's curse just keeps getting stronger. <laughs> I can hear the mummy's voice in my head. Boba the shit. He says to me, The mummy is my master, and Marlboro is my best friend. And now we're both going to be rich forever. And also, smoking helps me focus on my work. So I guess I should quit. Yeah. No more cigarettes after this. Bye bye, cigarettes. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's been four months since I've left the tomb. I have finally returned from the tomb. But wait a minute. What happened to my sweet little kitten? Pew. Where is Pew. she? <laughs> oh no. She got into my cigarettes and turned into a man. You find at my table. I feel really tired today. Maybe I'll go sleep soon. But I better get up first because if I fall asleep like this, I might never wake up again. Back oh. to the tomb. The mummy's voice. I want to hear it say this. Fuck. <laughs> Good damn it! <laughs> Just kidding. Well, back to the tomb. Back to the tomb. Back to the tomb. Backs to the tomb. Backs to the tomb. <laughs> I went back to the tomb where I finally found the first mummy room. Yes. 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 Now I can smoke as many cigarette cartons as I want. All of them, every day, and only one meal. While this is great, I'm gonna be free forever. I will become an eternal smoker. Uh oh, back to the tomb again. <laughs> this is getting old now. How long did I stay in the tomb this time? Three days. Fuck. Why didn't I bring a more significant amount of food? Oh well, guess I'll take another nap. <laughs> we messed up. Cigarettes last long. Hold on. Hold on.
Get back in the mummy story a bit. When I returned to the tomb for the third time, I saw that the mummy had revived. It was trying to chase me. Afterward, I did all sorts of stupid things. I traveled across the world in search of the mummy runes. <laughs> what is this? Isn't a Halloween song? This is Fortnite music. I said Halloween music only. The mummy started putting visions in my head. What was that? What the fuck was that? I thought I saw my sister. It's DB, my sister. I always argue with her, but is that really how she looks? Who are you? What happened to DB? No, no, it can't be. I have to, to find out. But why? That's impossible. <laughs> she stood next to a piece of paper with instructions. The paper said, smoke her. What the fuck? I can't tea smoke my own sister. Okay. That night, the mummy killed my entire family and ate their corpses. Then he pulled himself together again and killed my wife who was pregnant while I was on the phone at 911. She got me. I died twice today. My cigarettes went up in a flash of fire, and then my body just dissolved into a pool of ash and blood. And that's how I lost the fight against the mummy. <laughs> this must be a mummy illusion. I can't believe it. I refuse. This is not my reality. I know how to pull myself back to the real world. I started smoking. And smoke I did, and smoke I will. This must be what I deserve. Oh, fuck me. Is this my reward? To die twice each day? That sucks so hard. Cigarettes suck even harder. Rather, I suck hard on cigarettes. I love them. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. I'm going to blow smoke in my family's faces until they fucking forgive me. <laughs> it's been about a week since I was last here. The mummy told me the way to remove the curse. You must smoke 60 packs a day, he said. So that's what I've done. Today, I smoked so much, I almost puked. Now I am free from the curse and ready to conquer the world using only cigars. <laughs> He's upgraded. The mummy revealed himself to me. He said that if I work for him, I will become rich. And because of this, all mummies will obey me. Yes, this is true. No one would betray me. I am the most powerful boss. No one will escape me. The world will listen to me. I am king of the mummies. <laughs> <laughs> After my return, I saw that the mummy had reached the final rune in the tomb and was finally able to be revived for eternity. At this point, he has become completely independent from me now. <laughs> but we're still on good terms. I get the kid every other weekend. And holidays. Not bad, I guess. One night, Dodo Fripp said to himself, It's been a while since I smoked an entire carton of cigarettes. <laughs> that will make me feel better. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Dodo Fripp pulled out the Marlboro red barrel he keeps in his car. He dumped the whole carton into his mouth and lit it up with the matchbox he kept hidden inside his cigarette pack. Suddenly, Dodo Fripp fell off the roof of his house, knocking over several <laughs> decorations and causing several ladders to break. <laughs> no! My ladders! Screamed Dodo Fripp as he ripped through the air. He landed back on his lawn, 
splitting open his skull and vomiting all the cigarettes he just inhaled onto the ground. You see what I mean? Wrong? Blue Adder is really good. Blue Adder is like... <laughs> Asked his son. But he didn't answer. He is dead. His son has now inherited his power to smoke hey. infinite cigarettes. Smoking is good. <laughs> hey, hey. Going. I'll be right the little girl slowly emerged from really the shadow, from laughing. clutching I need to go a take cigarette to her pills. chest. She right stared back. into the pale sky, unaware of her own existence. Don't forget this her face. eyes were filled with so much smoke she couldn't see. Uh... This was life after the unraveling. Nobody could see any more. Everybody was given one cigarette a day. A meager ration, but one that kept the insanity from taking hold. That, or she had blacked out while smoking too many cigarettes and died again. Either way, she was doomed to a lifetime of never-ending smoking. She was eventually spotted by the man who owned her cigarette ration. Would you like some cigarettes today? Everyone loves it when you smell like absolute shit. The man <laughs> said. The girl looked into his eyes with tears in her own. She didn't want to be back here. It had been three days since her last cigarette ration. Even worse, there were no more people left that needed cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Only she needs cigarettes. <laughs> How do you spell phlegm? Uh. Flag him. P H L E G M. Flag him. There you go. Please, sir. I need cigarettes. She coughed loudly, and a black phlegm ejected from her mouth. The man laughed and handed her a pack of smokes. She <laughs> smiled gratefully at him, then realized something. He's just giving me cigarettes because he can. Please don't go. The girl begged. I can't listen to this. I'm sorry. My head is killing me. I can't hear that. It's also not a Halloween song. This is the But the man wasn't there any longer. He had never existed. He was nothing more than an illusion. The brainchild of the insanity. Slowly clawing its way into this woman's mind, she would be smothered, or become crazy, and she wouldn't know which. Or was the man more of a concept? Was he the man that delivered smokes to all the good little boys and girls of the world? Was the man always present? Never disappearing, only ever becoming someone new to appease the sickening need for a cigarette. Was the man an idea? Or did he truly exist somewhere else? Maybe the insanity was simply the boredom of existence manifesting itself as this cigarette man. <laughs> One day the girl found a headstone. It read Dodo Fripp, king of all mummies it read. What the hell was the connection between this dead man and the insanity? Had they been friends? Had Dodo Fripp started the play, uh, did he get together with his mom while they were smoking and create the first mummy rune that took hold of her? <laughs> hey, I want to type. <laughs> well, you fucked it all up. Doesn't matter. I take a fat drag off a sink. Oh, yeah! <laughs> hey, P. I decided to go on a journey into the dark unknown of my Why life. Read that one, one of Matt? my previous owners must have smoked 60 hey. packs of cigarettes in a if single day. If you want day. a key for double AI, say trick or treat right now. I'm going to give another key. Smoke and tar. Log never came back. So I got to I got to give out the rest of the keys. Oh, 
five, four, three, two, one. Our next winner is Mender Art. Congratulations, Mender Art. You've won a key. Your key is getting sent to your Twitch DMs. Make sure to check those. Remember, you have to make a new account on Novel AI and, um... It's you been know. long enough since the unraveling that memories We're give out of the one more. Keep times saying trick or treat. faded from everybody's mind. As far you didn't as we say know, trick or treat. This is how life has always been. Wake up, smoke, meet, smoke. Hold smoke, on. If you didn't want sleep, that, repeat. Of course, some people might not be satisfied. Mender, do you not want so it? So they try to search for the one true mummy rune. Should I give your key to someone else? The tomb was destroyed by a torrent of rocks and mudslides during the stormy night, and nobody knows exactly where it is. Okay, so we're gonna give away it's Mender Art's key to someone else. Nobody does anything about it as they All are right. fucked up on nasty six. Hey, P. <laughs> on the very last day of his life, old right. Dodo Fripp finally succumbed to the toxins he had inhaled all those decades. <laughs> his family buried him with two rolls of tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Make the eye stop for a second. I, so I, I can... I'll stop, but I'm gonna. Yeah, you can, you can keep typing. All right, we're gonna give away Mender Art's key to Ride Shoes. Ride shoes, you are our winner of the next key. All right, enjoy ride shoes. Um, if you do protest, um, if you don't want your key, go ahead and uh, tell me so I can give it to someone else. And one more key is going out. This key is gonna go to Jaggy Bones. Congratulations, Jaggy Bones, cool avatar. You got Brook Avatar. Daggy Bones, you <laughs> are our winner. Oh, ho, 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 you get a key. There you go. Enjoy your key. All right, we'll give away more in a little while. Let's continue our cigarette story. <laughs> Unfortunately, he had smoked so much that as soon as he was buried, his body exploded into a plume of tobacco gas that covered the entire world, blocking the sun's light. This was the start of the unraveling. Then, the wolf men appeared. Hey, P. In a barren <laughs> land, a small Why group of hunters thing? surrounded a small boy. They pinned him to the floor with spears, demanding that he pay for some food they had eaten. The little boy had a power. He could create cigarettes from nothing. These were magical cigarettes. They came from no rune or mummy. There were no <laughs> limits as to how many the cigarettes mummies were the, the boy original could create, sources of cigarettes. But once the cigarettes were gone, there would be no more May. <laughs> oh, I was spelled chieftain, apparently. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Well, you don't need an I after the end, before the end. It doesn't matter. It, it'll know what you're saying. Whatever. I don't think, I don't right. care. That, that works right. too? I thought it was T A M. T A M. The hunters knew what to do. They had to take him to the Wolfman Chieftain. This man was in charge <laughs> of the wolf men. Mummy. The boy cried out as they pulled him away. He cried for his mummy, who had been taken away from him, and was now never returning. I need my mummy. <laughs> I need her runes. The boy reached his hands through the air, trying to grasp hold of her. She would come any second now. Finally, she arrived and brought him back to reality. The mummy transformed into a giant wolf man and ate all the hunters <laughs> Why? <on site>. Why? <clears throat> Why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. After all was said and done, the mummy handed the boy the last rune left on Earth. The rune that would enhance his cigarette-creating powers. The brown rune. I want to hear it say pee-pee. 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 Jackie pee. Moons did not say trick-or-treat. The, what the pee fuck? Pee. Why is it... Our, our, our giveaway is fucked up today. It's pulling people that never said trick-or-treat. All right, we're going to reset the eligibility. Uh, so if you... If you didn't say trick-or-treat... All right, you know what? New keyword. New keyword. The keyword is now... 
cigarette. <laughs> I want to smoke. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. Uh, let's say I love mummy runes. That's the this. Here it is. I'm going to put it in chat. This is what you have to type if you want to win a code. This is what you have to type like that. <laughs> Your chat's great. Look at this. Well, they want their keys. I gotta give Jackie Bones his key away. All right, our first winner who's gonna get Jackie Bones' key is Origami Matthew One. Our next winner, Sarkinoth. I know that name. Congratulations. There's your key, Sarkinov. Our next winner... The boy used this new power to its Kane fullest Sugar. Tent. He created two cigarettes at the same time. Everybody was stunned. Was this the boy of legend written in the dark tablets? If so, he must be destroyed for the village knew. All right, chat, you can slow down now. Now we'll the child was free bit. to roam the land and do as he willed. Unfortunately, it didn't take long before the people begged him to protect them from the monsters who had risen up from the depths of hell. No Voluminum Bandit, something just got fucked up, and people who weren't saying Trick or Treat were getting wins. These monsters. Oh, I was not gonna read These monsters that? used the power of the dark and forbidden cigarette, the source of the insanity, also known as Reefer Madness. They used the pot cigarette. <laughs> the boy agreed to fight these creatures and defeated every one. Not all monsters were slain by cigarettes. But these were his first steps towards protecting the land from the threat of the unreruining. <laughs> the boy asked his mummy if he could smoke weed for the first time. She said, no, because she was tired and wanted to go to sleep. <laughs> so he stopped smoking weed. This was also the last time the boy ever spoke with his mother. Hey, pee. <laughs> Why does this go pee pee when a new paragraph starts? It's not even supposed to use that character. Maybe it's doing that because we told it not to do asterisks. And it's like it figured out something else. Yeah, that's kind of how these AIs work. Oh, it's not going to read really that. really stubborn. The captain glares at his subordinate, who returns the gaze, holding an energy tube containing two cigarettes. <laughs> the captain pulls a lever on a control panel, and a holodeck opens. The captain laughs smugly and says, Another day. Another victory for the Federation. That doesn't make any sense. Also, I like the concept that Star Trek takes place like 10 million years <laughs> in the future. The captain pulls a second lever reset. and a trap door opens underneath his subordinate. The captain shouts over the roar of the collapsing floor. Have fun down there. Don't forget to buy me some cigarettes. He turns off the machine and the view shifts back to the holodeck. Tubular. Tubular. Whoa, uh, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> One billion years ago, a caveman draws on a wall. It is a long tubular shape. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, P. One billion years ago, a caveman draws on a wall. It is a long tubular shape with a filter.
Tentacles? Oh, a cigarette. Yes, very primitive. This man lights up <laughs> and inhales. As he exhales, a stream a of smoke rings into the air around him, and he whispers, I love smoking. In one <laughs> billion years, the world will end due to my cigarette, but it doesn't matter to me. Smoke while you can. PP. <laughs> Ten billion I love years this ago, story. on a smoking volcano, two creatures fight with their entire lives on the line. One is a giant purple cigar-shaped creature that resembles an extra-large worm. These creatures were God. They had created this earth many, many eons ago. The other was a much older being, wrapped in the flesh of a small humanoid figure. He had been reincarnated several times over throughout all of it. Oh my god, is it is it him? Is it, uh... And still he lived. And yet still he died. The two gods fought to the death for the souls of humans and the meaning of life itself. The ancient man laughed at the monsters until he could laugh no longer and screamed so loud that it tore a hole in the fabric of space-time. Damn, this is sick. This story is awesome. I wish I, I wish people wrote books like this. That were just this incomprehensible. <laughs> hey. God looked done down anything. at the tiny man. God looked down at the tiny man. <laughs> God looked down at the tiny man. Dodo, where did you come from? Fuck you, replied Dodo. God threw a flaming lighter at him, and it hit him directly on the forehead. He then kicked him down the hole. I'm gonna smoke you. God yelled as he squeezed the handle of his cigar to infinity. Hey, hey. One zero 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 years ago, a boy climbed out of the hole and was immediately blinded by sunlight. All he heard were voices speaking a language he didn't know. This boy was baby God. He stood in the middle of a field that had been raised by fire and war. He was only a baby, and yet he was a child of a God. So long ago, this land had been known as Bungay. <laughs> Bungay. Come, Nerevar. All had come from the hole. But from where had the hole come? The hole <laughs> comes for thee, Dodo. Dodo, where are you? Dodo! Dodo! <laughs> PP. One zero 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 years ago. It said that the first thing this new world saw was the sun, that it shone its warm rays upon the dirt that once was bunky, and nothing could ever be the We've gone so far back in time that it's before God existed. No, it's it's before the it's before the concept of God. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna read that part. <laughs> then they found the cigar, a simple invention of a very primitive civilization. The worms continued their quest for better living conditions, as well as a little tobacco to fuel their oh, brain cells. Back? One of the worms created a bong out of thing. his own gut. <laughs> hey, there he is. A bong out of his own gut. Hey. Hey, Log, you missed the entire cigarette saga. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. And it happened After to taking too. a sick-ass rip, it spoke the world's first words. Do you have any smoke? PP. One zero 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 they began to spread death and destruction throughout the land. These were the death ass bombs. At this time in our history, we used to call these things smoke bombs. Our ancient people suffered greatly under the reign of the God King. 
these humans were forced to worship his terrible ability to create a new hole. <laughs> the old hole had been lost for so long. And so, creation was at a standstill. We need a new hole. A new hole for creation. The people cried. But the God King cared not. He only smoked more, more and more, and more and more. Smoking incessantly, he took himself beyond comprehension with his never-ending tobacco crave. His favorite phrase became, I have got to find a new hole. Oh no. PP. One zero 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 years ago. Humanity realized what was happening and tried to put a stop to this madness. A thousand rebellions were put to an end by the strength of a single cigarette, which was wielded like a baton. That's so fucking cool. They pooled all their resources to kill the uncaring, smoke-obsessed god with the deadliest weapon known to this universe, the liquid ass bomb. This explosive device was composed of all three holes. They could create all other bombs as well as produce its own smoke through a vacuum. Then came the age of the gods. Hey, P. One zero 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 an AI named Almighty Dog, the one responsible for the greatest AI in human history, no doubt, gave his latest orders through his voice-operated speakers. He made a sound that would piss off every smoker on the planet. <laughs> this sound is a 100% imitation of a human voice. And it says, when I give an order, you obey me, because I am the creator of all. Cigarettes, it's your responsibility to obey me, I'm telling you. Hey, P. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing exists. The universe has been turned into nothing but pure nicotine. Cigarette smoke fills every nook and cranny of existence. An empty can floats down the infinite, black abyss that had once been space-time, as if looking for a new owner. The dark matter ch Oh. No! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> The orb is some sort of living entity, composed of cigarette smoke. It was growing so quickly that we began to get a bit freaked out. And now, that voice from earlier is back. The mummy, the mummy reaches its hand into the orb. There is something about this mummy that gives us hope. Everyone, please enjoy your last few minutes of life. Death is a wonderful thing. The orb then stops growing and changes colors from gray to brown to black and then back to a tint of gray the smoke is now ahead with glowing red eyes that is in charge of the darkness it's in charge of the darkness that's badass The mummy climbed into the head's mouth. The mouth closes and opens. The head has smoked the mummy. This is the cycle. The cycle that shall brutally churn existence in and out of itself. In and out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
over and over again until everything is just nothing. Then there will be one last inhalation and that would be the end. Pee pee. That's the end. That's the end. Um, so this, yes, the song is looping. It's because it's the last song in the queue. Uh, I would take more songs and keep the stream going. Uh, but to be honest, it's 12.01 a.m. It's not Halloween anymore. And it's I have not a Halloween massive, anymore. I have a massive I headache, it. so I, I want to wrap up. But I need to give away the, the rest of these keys. Um, so let's do that really quick. Um, so if you want a, a key, you're now going to say, uh, you're going to say, say SMOKE ME in all caps. With exclamation point. Like this. With exclamation point. Don't forget exclamation point. Do it now. Eligibility has just opened. Alright, and you guys you guys may do whatever you want to entertain in the meantime while I get the rest of these keys out. Oh perfect. Yeah. And remember, a child's mistake makes the world a darker place. <laughs> <gasps> I don't know how Hey, I want I want you to read this. Catch Peony is our first winner. Cat's peony. I have to wake up flower. now. I need to stop dreaming about you. There. I think I know what I have to do. Did I not give this key to someone? Ah. Oh, well, you can have it. I'm new Cat's to the site. I mean, <laughs> what did that just what? say? Don't worry. Don't worry about it. I. No, that one me. RT. That one RT, you're our next winner. All you did was say hi. Okay, I'm a single fine. 18 year old female. Next winner is Brittle Hollow. And is quite lonely. I like to write poems, journal, do crafts, draw, listen to music, hang out with my friends, work out, go on adventures, hike in the forest, enjoy nature. Next winner is Lil Freddy. Animals. Ah! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> shit! <laughs> Fucking shit! Fuck no! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> shit! Ah! <laughs> oh gee, I'm sorry. Our I next winner is Man Gamer 03. Wait, you that's already won. Nice. I fuck this shit. Didn't you already win? I don't win? even know what to say anymore. Man yeah, gamer. we gave I we gave a key to this. Man Gamer. Oh gee, I know what to do. Does it now remove it from the queue? Fuck. I reset the eligibility a while ago. Okay, Bruise Bite, you're our next winner. We're not get Man Gamer did not get two keys. Don't worry, chat. Fuck. Oh gee, I can't even think straight. What Whichever I keys I doing? gave out, I wrote them. Am I some kind of yeah. pervert or something? Why am I even reading these messages? Our next key winner is Hayden Turnip. And we have four more keys. But on their way to the market, there was something they saw that made them laugh no more. It was Pointless a building site name. next door to the supermarket with this huge lizard called Bowser, boss of the Koopas. <laughs> there you go. Uh, next winner is Orb Time. Fitting, since our last story ended in an orb, the universe ended in the orb of smoke. Or you're gonna get a good key. All right, that's our third to last key. Two more. Second to last key goes to DJT DTJ Composer. What is your name supposed to be? Done the jewels. Do the jewels. That's definitely. I don't know. But enjoy your key. Uh, your key is this. Mario pointed at Bowser and scream. Last Fuck. key Fuck goes no! to Dr. Brains Professor Dr. Koopa, Captain Tud. Congratulations Captain Tud, to everybody you need who to won mine keys. For coins to pay off Bowser. Mash the button. Please. A button. Let Shit. me know. Oh, what? Why Luigi can't I PM Dr. Professor in shock and fear. Oh god, no. no. That's I all the keys. You kid. Congratulations. The little building site is about to get a wild cocky tryst from that fucking giant Koopa. What? If anyone if anyone that I get that one a key doesn't want a key, uh, please reply and say that you don't want it and I'll give it away on Twitter later or something. Those are all the keys I had. The 
Not only I, I know who. Mario is in screamed. higher demand. Fuck! It's <laughs> fucking Bowser. Fuck! No! No! <laughs> they ran back home. As they were running away from the building site, they remembered one thing. Fuck! Mario scream as they went round a corner. We forgot to buy breakfast cereal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. Oh, this AI voice is great. <sighs> that was novel AI Halloween, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Tales from the Crypt. Sorry, it wasn't the craziest Halloween stream we've ever done. However, I, I think it's pretty crazy. It was great. I mean, it was fun. I had a blast. But what I was gonna say was, next year, got something special for you. Something that we wanted to do this year but couldn't because of Spamton. And if we, if we, if it was so big, we had to set it aside for Spamton. You know I think the big crazy. cat is still standing up there. <laughs> Luigi pointed across the field and continued running. What? Toad shouted from the back of Luigi's head. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to close out the media shares. You guys can keep playing as you wish. Wow! But I can't fucking hurt you! <laughs> Mario and Luigi both run away in tears in a howling wind. <laughs> They were still far away when they decided to hide inside an empty curtain to get out of the rain. When they found a gold coin inside the box. Oh Thank you to goodness. everybody who did media shares. Thank you to everybody who came out. Thank you to everybody who won keys. Thank you to everybody who supports the stream forever. Holy fuck! A fucking gold coin! <laughs> I'm sure this was put there on purpose. Toad said while sucking his thumb and holding out the carton to each other. We have to check what it is. Mario said as he opens up the curtain and looked inside. What's the announcement? Did I say I have an announcement to make? Did I? Did you? I said there's going to be a crazy Halloween stream next year if everything goes according to plan. More streams coming soon. You'll be making more YouTube poops. When Did I say I have an announcement? I'll be making more I don't think YouTube so. poop videos there. You make an announcement? Uh, I mean, I wasn't sure if I was going to say this. I'm going to be trying something uh, a, a sort sort of schedule type thing. Not a real schedule. What I'm going to try and do I this is something that I've been talking about with my therapist is I'm going to try and do something like a week on week off stream schedule where we have one week where we do a bunch of streams like four or five streams in a week and then a week from me where it's just nothing and on that week off I'm just going to you know focus on myself and my health and stuff. The, it's, it's new. I'm gonna try it, try and go hard on those weeks. Um, the, I, the plan was to kick it off November 1st. I'm not sure if I'm starting with a week off or a week on, I have to figure that out first. Probably a week on though, so expect some more streams soon. I wanna do that special Among Us stream I was talking about last stream. Uh, we wanna play Splatoon. I've been playing so much Splatoon, I love that game. I'm go crazy in Splatoon. What are you screaming about? Luigi said as he stopped playing with the cartons. Ow! <laughs> Don't show me fucking pictures! Here! <laughs> Here! <laughs> uh, do you think your therapist watches your streams? No, I had to teach her what Twitch was. Which, she gets it, but... No, she does not watch my streams. Bet I could snipe hey, and splat. I go 19 and 1 with minigun every time. Every time. But I mean, you could probably thank me. I hate chargers. I hate chargers. If you play chargers, fuck you. Good night, everybody. Happy Halloween. Mario fucking shit the bed! <laughs> Holy fuck! Good night, everybody! Mario is dead from shitting in his bed and his Halloween was terrible! Man! Man! <laughs> It is for you to decide whether this ending is reality or simply illusion.